Howdy! Good evening! Thanks, you're free. Yeah, I gave you a new emote. Hope you guys like it. You're welcome for that one. Oh, hold on, chat. The, the, the stream behind me can't see it. I'm going to leave it alone. <laughs> I don't want to update it. I'll do that another time. Hi, everybody. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> I just made the stream is live uh, tweet image for tonight. It's a good one. All right, there you go. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Happy Tuesday. Hope you guys had a fantastic one. Hope everything's good. Is there music playing? Could you not hear? Is it not loud enough? I feel like I always have it too loud, so I, I try to turn it down a little bit. So, uh, right before I went live, and I don't know, uh, I don't know when this started, um, but, hold on, oh, never mind, okay, uh, I don't know when this started, but right before I went live, it said other streamers you might like. And uh, it recommended me Tommy Wiseau. And he looked like he was like in a in a at a at a film festival or something. He was like in a theater. He has eleven viewers. Is this just twenty four seven? This is twenty four seven Tommy Wiseau content. Okay. That's what this is. Never mind. It's a scam basically. Scam? A scam for 11 viewers? I don't know if scam is the right word. Just like the Cody stream. What did I do? The fuck is your problem? I didn't even do anything to you. Hey guys, look what I found. Professional bowlers throwing gutter balls. This got recommended to me. <laughs> it's scary how well YouTube knows me. We really need to take these professional bowlers down a peg. <laughs> so he needs to shut them the fuck up. I'm watching that. Absolutely. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the stream. My voice is shot. I did a secret stream yesterday, and I should not have. I, my ass was talking for two hours, then I went to go work out at midnight. Look at the, look at the strategic placing of the label. Do you see this? Wait, hire me, dude. By complete accident, too. Not even thinking about it. Genius. All right, now I'm actually going to bring chat up. I haven't seen anything you guys have been saying. <laughs> Coney, be quiet. I'm doing thermal physics. Hold on. Wait. It wasn't as loud as I was hoping it would be. Oh, I turned it down over here. Damn it. <laughs> was it loud? I, I I forgot. Dude, so when I brought this up, this was down to like here. That was the problem. Damn it. It wasn't loud? All right, how about now? <laughs> Don't you ever tell me what to do. <laughs> there are no smash normies here now. I can do this with impunity. 
Don't you ever fucking tell me what to do. This is my domain. My stream, my rules. <laughs> I don't know what you... What, where do you think you are, huh? I only apologize because we... Oh, my God. The viewers are at, like, 600. Now it's at 139. Oh, my... What happened? <laughs> when I just looked, this said 650. It, what happened? My bad, y'all. My bad. I I killed them? How did I kill them? I did, okay. I don't care if I killed them. Their computers are probably fine. Right? I don't care if they're dead. What I care about is their view. Surely their phone and or computer is fine. Time of death, 810. <laughs> I will be the first streamer to kill somebody through to it. Don't say that. Don't say that. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the stream. That woke me up. Hey, it's 810. Wake the fuck up. It's not bedtime yet, you geriatric. Now's not the time. Somebody's definitely done that before. You think so? How, how would you know, I guess? That'd be very embarrassing. Last thing you listen to is a Twitch stream. Ooh. Thank you, Neffel the Reject, for the uh, Prime. Thank you, Lynn KO, for the Prime. Thank you, Ten Evil Stars, for the Tier 1. Clark, for a Tier 1. Confused, for a Tier 1. Confused DX, sorry. Flaming Oranges, Mythos, uh, Roller Joaster, Navy Inferno, Hallway 97, Prime. I hope I said that right. Uh, Luigi Sly, Squish Pie, the best, obviously. El Duderino, Elund, Starksly, Jesus, Stark, Star Kelsey. I'm sorry, I thought it was Starks. I'm so stupid. Star Kelsey, Nick's Kit, Pudding Sloth, Zero Free. I hope I didn't kill any of you. Thank you, Rudy Tootie. If you gave me money, thanks for not. Oh, thank you, Godoy, for the five gifties, too. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Delicious. Hi, everybody. Hope you guys are having a great night. Thank you, Natat. Where's Subula? Wait, is he. Oh, what? Did that pop? Oh, I didn't even see it. Ah. ah. See, now it's too late. Now it's too late. My bad, everybody. Please talk about drama. My attention span is slipping. Absolutely not. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Not here. Not here. Not ever. Oh, you guys are saying scam because I won't talk about drama. Is that why you're saying scam? <laughs> That must be it. I can think of no other reason why you'd be saying scam. Uh, oh, damn. Perfect song for this. In case you guys didn't see, the Streamer Awards nomination phase is open. Uh, this is fun to go to, I hear. A lot of friends have gone there. Somebody said, Coney, do you want to be nominated for anything? Not really. If you want to do it, go for it. Um, I don't really fit any of these. There's, like, Best Variety Streamer. There's way better than me. Best Just Chatting Streamer. Don't think about the top of that. League of their own? Uh, what do you, I, I react to YouTube videos. I don't think... <laughs> Rising Star has to have less than 1K. Hidden Gem is less than 100. If you if you can inspect element, add another zero in there, well, I would, I'd be over 1K too. <laughs> There's no way to make this work. Best streamed event, Roblox Outlaster. Oh, well, maybe actually. Best streamed event, Genesis, 8 top, Genesis 9 Top 8 Watch Party. Perfect. <laughs> There's nothing really. I, I'm not. I don't fit any of these. You know? I'm kind of an uncut gem. Yeah, I've heard that a lot. I don't know if I'm a hidden gem. I'm very visible and out there and in the open. Gamer of the year? <laughs> I didn't even win one round of Mario Party. I did win a round of Mario 64, though. So, actually... Best short streamer? I, I don't qualify for two of those adjectives. <laughs> if if you wanted to say like middle average, average average streamer, lock me in there. I'm happy with it. Best roleplay streamer for Subula. Best event. Best streamed event every Subula that ever happened. In a row. <laughs> Best average white guy. Yeah, there you go. There's a white dude. If I was younger, I would be one of those white kids who play Minecraft that you hear about one time. Except way less famous. <laughs> Best Sage Jam? 
I am, I'm a Sage Am like. I don't think I'm a Sage Am. I think I am the Jedi Fallen Order to Sage Am's Dark Souls. I think I'm like right, I'm like, I'm a little bit on the edge, you know? Best man who speaks. The in between of a Sage Am and a Ludwig? Kill me. I come out like Jeff Goldblum in The Fly. <laughs> Fucking kill me. Just shoot me in the head. Come on, man. <laughs> the Lords of the Fallen of Sage M likes. No! Uh, what's the best souls? I'm the Jedi Fallen Order. That's like the best souls like. I'm the Bloodborne of Sage M likes. <laughs> hey. Best analogy streamer. See, that's good. I like that. Worst user of extremely unfunny loud buzz. Hold on, you motherfucker. I have to search for it. It's at the bottom of my downloads. I'm doing it again. Wait. I'm going to do it. Just kidding. Got him. <laughs> that was really good timing. I kind of want to add that to the... I got to add that. I have to add that. That was really good. I, I I need to add that to the video file. That's excellent. They have to be coupled together. <laughs> that video was not part of the thing. It was just Duel with Mario Party 3 soundtrack. That... It was serendipitous. Watching the whole stream on mute from now on. Speaking of watching Tommy Wiseau, bro, hold on. Not only was I tuned into Tommy Wiseau, wait just a minute, hold on. I also tuned in to another stri- Oh, he stopped? He went offline? Ah, but the VOD's still there. I guess he forgot. Thought I wouldn't notice. Well, well, well. There's another streamer. That I happen to f catch in the act. You see this guy here? Oh, playing some Mario, huh? Playing some Mario, enjoying Mario 64. Maybe a little bit of track mania, having a good time, whatever. Everything's good. What the fuck is this? What are you watching, Simply? What? What are you... <laughs> what are you doing here? Huh? <laughs> I Now I know how YouTubers feel. He went five for five? No, he fucking didn't. No, he didn't. There's no way. He's way better at it than I am then. Run it right now? Bro, I'll run, I'll run a, I'll, I'll run a money match against him. I bet he's got the wiki open. They have every episode ever. Showing you when it happened, like what the answer is. I'll run the fucking set. I'll watch a whole episode. I'll, I'll beat his ass in this. Do the same episode and see how you do? I beat his ass. Absolutely. You already watched it? I don't remember any of it. I remember some of it. I would have to, like... And it's not like you could remember whether or not something is true or false in this shit. Having watched it before gives you no bonus. Thank you, Journeyman Games. I'll money match him in this shit. Do a tournament of but the pro I would love to do something with this, but it's it's very easy to cheat. All that shit's on the internet. I would do a fact or fiction tournament, absolutely. And then the problem is you can't even be like, all right, don't look this up, and then make sure that they're making they're not looking at the camera. Make sure they're looking at the camera for eye contact so they're not looking away. Because now NVIDIA made it easier to cheat, dude. Do it at Summit? <laughs> That's not a bad idea. <laughs> I do it at Summit. I have to both watch a laptop. I borrow a room. And I'm like, here, you're going to watch a story. You need to say whether this is true or not. And see how they do. That might be fun. 
I'll figure something out. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Uh, here's professional bowlers throwing gutter balls. This got recommended to me, and again, I just... Keep in mind for those I can't believe that uh, YouTube knows me like this. Unbelievable. He's just joining us. Dual <laughs> oil. What kind of name is that, dude? Keep in mind... <laughs> what? Jacob? Butterf? <laughs> it says butt. Butt turf. And then another F. <laughs> you can... <laughs> this is so... Butt earth. <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh, funny name. Yeah, the butt is funny, but the earth goes a little crazy. That's kind of silly. This is a silly name. He's just joining us. Dual oil patterns. Oh, Again, no. There it is. I knew it was going to... You really butterfed that one. Oh. Randy. I knew it was good. There's Wes Malott. Uh, Wes fits right in with all these... More spin, balls. Wes! The of the you gotta put Seriously, more spin Wes? on that, Wes! Game match play competition on That's Sunday just bullet. to get in the field. The Not a good bust so though. here's yep. a man who survived it Doesn't all. the face for it. No, oh, more spin on that! And nervousness has set in. See how far right he set up. Good look from our crew. Oh, oh, oh. Went to the channel. Oh, he was good. Oh, imagine how crushed he would be. <laughs> Is this the most humiliating thing a professional athlete can do? It might be. Because, like... I feel like dropping a pop fly as a baseball player is pretty bad, but at least you could be like, oh, the sun was in my eyes, or a fan shot a, a red laser in my eye. Like, you could you could lie. As a bowler, there are no outside distractions. Missing four extra points in a row. Okay, but if we're bringing in multiple instances, I could say hitting ten gutters in a row. <laughs> that seems more embarrassing, right? Shitting yourself when you dunk on somebody. I feel like shitting yourself in any capacity whenever you're doing anything. Do bowlers ever rage like gamers? I don't know. You can't really throw the ball. Throw it down. <laughs> Splinter the floor. Bowling feels super mental. Yeah, I feel like bowling can't be that hard because like... The, the, the motion, once you have the motion and the placing, it's literally, it's same as darts. You just do the same fucking thing over and over. It can't be that hard. I could do it, is what I'm trying to say. I want to be a bowler. It's just an execution test, yeah. Yup. Oh. That's tough. Ball is oh. actually <laughs> Put us on TV. Relax. Hitting Paul Pierce shit himself in the ABA finals. Wait, really? <laughs> I feel like I watch that video and I don't remember it. In the approach before the lane. Anything I watch on stream oh. does Good not Lord. get stored into long-term memory. He has a great idea what it's going to do when it leaves his hand now. Oh. Like that. <sighs> okay. The kid who bullied me in middle school is a professional bowler now. His name is Anthony Simonson. Why did you use the good set of Anthony? You didn't have to say the whole name. Do you want me to do something about it? You want me to cancel Anthony Simonson? Why did I say the name? It's my stream. <laughs> I'm going to go teach him a lesson. Nobody beats up my viewers. Guys, you ever get bullied... Just tell them to come to me. <laughs> tell your bully to come to me. Just give me a call. I'll take care of it. Hey, leave my viewer alone. No, I can't. Not every viewer. Leave my subscriber alone. <laughs> Not doing it for free. Before heading into the title match against Marshall Kent. Well, well like that's maybe not, that's, that's not going to help. <laughs> that not that one. <laughs> <laughs> They're laughing. 
Oh. A few streams ago you said that bob aren't sentient. I made a video a few months ago on which Mario enemies would fall for a pyramid scheme, and I made that same point, so thank you for proving me right. What? I feel like all of them would. Right? Wouldn't they all? Who wouldn't? Kamek would not. Kamek could create money. The video, if you care to watch. How long is it? Let's see. Oh, is it a tier list video? <laughs> I thought it was like a video essay. Let me skip to the end. Goomba? Oh, you j d this is too many tears, dude. You have way too many tears on this. This is a mess. You're actually just describing the thing. You're not even putting in a tear. That's bad. It's dumb. Look out! Oh, second gutter ball of this match, and look at Holman. He has <laughs> now that guy's a bowler. I could tell this guy bowls if I saw him out on the street. Or sells vacuums, I think. That's that's either a vacuum salesman or a bowl or Luigi. <laughs> that might be Luigi. Has really got to be hot. I'm sure of that, Jay. Luigi cosplay. Oh, he got two in a row. Mm, mm, mm. No laughing on this one. So help him God. Crowd. Just sitting in shock silence. Why is everybody dressed up? Where are we? What dimension am I in? Why is everybody like at church here? Shock silence here. It's not over yet. <laughs> now that's a crowd. Even Pete Weber got up. Look at Pete. Look at this, Chris. <laughs> terrible Herber. for his opponent. That's the guy, by the way. That's Pete Weber, the who do you think you are. Great Man, soft touch and rotation. Forever. Pete Weber. Wait a minute. Swing. <laughs> not Pete. Not young Petey Dubs. Oh, no. He's a good what? spirits. He's a good spirits about it. It's fine. This really is in a must strike situation. That dude looked like Evan Peters. Who's the goat of bowling? There has to be a goat of bowling, right? I, I mean, you know, the nerves of. Go back to the dude's wrist? What wrist? What? Oh, this? That's probably how you actually hold it without getting hurt, bro. I bet that's real. Before Pete? Look at Pete. This? Look at this, Chris. Great. I mean, after Pete. I feel like this is just how you're supposed to hold it if you're bowling. I don't know. I don't know proper form. I always fuck my arm up when I bowl. Oh, damn. This guy's got form. Oh, Burnman. dude, no way he gutter balls this. This must have been in the Watch wrong out. video. Whoa! Gutter ball. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. All right, and there's your movie. There you go. <laughs> uh, fellas, I would like to play a game with you, but I need you to not cheat. You're not, you're going to cheat. <laughs> All right, I can't do predictions because you're going to cheat. I know that you'll cheat. I, I am positive that you're going to cheat. But I would like to play a game nonetheless with no stakes, okay? <laughs> if you, if you, this would be really fun if I could get you guys to not cheat. Seriously. This would be incredibly fun. <laughs> But unfortunately, I don't think that I can. I don't think there's a way to do it. For you see, uh, we haven't checked up on our guy in a while. It seems as though a good friend of the stream has been pretty busy. Um, only one here has been back hard at it with his reviews. <laughs> and you can see these scores here. 
And all I want you to do, all I want you to do is guess, is this a zero or any other number? <laughs> zero or the field? What do you think? <laughs> the, okay, some people, I, I already spoiled Dead Space. All right, yes, it's a Dead Space is, it is a zero. <laughs> but, I mean, how could it not be, right? He said this game is a steaming pile of garbage. Greedy devs charging $70 for a remake that's over 14 years old. Remember when they got no multiplayer? He hates that, right? Once you beat the campaign, there's literally not a reason to play it again. That one was easy to guess, right? Clearly. Fire Emblem Engage, though. This game is extremely expensive. What do you think? <laughs> You think it's a zero or any other number? Oh, it's another Unity game. Oh, I didn't even notice that. This guy hates Unity. I mean, I get it. I hated Unity because it was the only game I ever got in grab bag. I just got that shit. Alright, <laughs> this one also a zero. <laughs> Alright, yeah, this one's also a zero. But wait! Forspoken just came out. This one's a little bit more harshly got, you know, some people have been pretty mean about this one, especially the dialogue. You think it's a zero or any other number? Remember, there are many other numbers. Two, six, four, maybe even eight. There are many other numbers from one to ten, or zero to ten, rather. No multiplayer, very greedy. <laughs> well... You're right again. It's a zero. <laughs> it's another zero. There's no multiplayer. So once you beat it, that oh my god, three paragraphs on this one. <laughs> All right. Now another one. One Piece Odyssey. Maybe he likes anime. We don't know. He might be into anime. Is it a zero or any other number? Zero to ten. Any number at all. It's also a zero. Yeah, you got that right. You're right. Good job, everybody. <laughs> that is also a zero. Uh, why are video game developers so obsessed with the word Odyssey? Enough already. No multiplayer. God, he hates that. All right, well, hold on. The Witcher. This is one of the most highly praised, generationally uh, defining games ever made. And this is a complete edition, and he played the remake. Right? Like the new bits. Which had to have changed a lot, right? This has to be different. This game was such a big deal. Are you sure it's a zero? It's a zero. <laughs> Alright, well, you guys are pretty good at this game. You guys are pretty good at this. Not bad. All right, but hold on. What about Just Dance? Just Dance is a little different, right? That's a di that's that's different. This game doesn't even come with a cartridge. It only comes with a stupid code. Wait, is that true? Just Dance for the Switch doesn't even come with the game. <laughs> what the fuck? It does have multiplayer, but it's $30. Dude, I thought he would like $30. Why is he playing Just Dance 2022? What is he doing? The greedy developers couldn't even get Katrina and the Waves for the Walking on Sunshine song. Oh, it's just not the same. Take a guess. Not a zero? Four? What do you think? It's also a zero, yeah. <laughs> that is also a zero. That's a zero, too. But hold on! Marvel's Midnight Suns, Suns a thinking man's game, right? Very strategic, kind of like XCOM. This one's a little different. Now, it may be a huge steaming pile of garbage... But, surely there's something for him to like, right? Maybe it's a one. Maybe it's a two. 
I would say a one is still a huge steaming. I think you guys are seeing through my. Uh, <laughs> I think you guys are seeing through the game a bit. All right. It it is a zero. It's another zero. There's no multiplayer. <laughs> All right. What about Need for Speed Up? It's a zero. You guys, it's another. And it's a zero. And it's a zero. You you. That's the end of the game. They're all zeros. That's the bit. <laughs> Literally everything on this page is a zero. He played ten games, and none of them had anything of note. Ten full games, none of them had one thing to like. <laughs> this industry is in shambles. <coughs> Ten vastly different games, too. Yeah, from all sorts of different genres. This is all across the board. This guy just doesn't like existing, I think. I don't think this person enjoys being alive and experience being perceived, perceiving the world around him. He likes Forza, though. <laughs> Ten for Forza. He likes tuning virtual cars. This guy's a virtual mechanic. Hey, video games love me cars. Simple as. That's funny. Hey, uh, in case you guys didn't see, I wanted to show you this. We had a video go out this past, um... Is there a third Mario brother? There what? Been some hints huh? Years, even outright Where is that coming from? I didn't click on anything. No, 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 stop. Stop, I literally can't stop it. I had to close. I literally have no idea where that came from. I didn't tell it to do that. Oh, there's a track in Mario Party 3 called Ambience. Aw. That's cute. Content fairy? <laughs> Blessing me. Uh, so, in case you guys didn't see, we put up a new video uh, on Monday? Is that what it was? Yesterday, yeah. And it was Scribble Knots, Chaplay, Scribble Knots, whatever. Um, now, this was a sponsored video by Star Trek Fleet Command. If you skipped it, that's fine. I, I get it. Um, I wanted you guys to see this. Uh, so this was not the original thumbnail. We were trying to think of a thumbnail for this. And it was going to be, you know, the arm. But we decided against it. Um... And uh, we were like, how the fuck do we, how do we SEO this? <laughs> and Vince sent me this DM. And I was like, you know what? That's a, that's a really funny idea. Let's just dial it back like. Two or three steps. <laughs> Let's dial that back a bit. Let's dial that back. It's a sponsored video and it's on YouTube. <laughs> Let's dial it back a couple steps. So what I just said, you know what? Just make it a feet joke. I my idea was to say uh, I let the I told them they could make anything and it was going to be gun, big gun, big funny gun. But I was like, eh, that's not, I don't think that's going to work. So, <laughs> uh, all right, sure. But we ended up with this, a dumb feet joke. We had to play through the lines of, you know, we're trying to go PG-13 a little bit here. So, it's fine. The Doug Doug Game Show video came out. Oh, wait, really? Oh, that's sick. I got to watch that. I don't know if that's a React video, but I'll watch it sometime. Thank you, username not available. Coney, can you get sponsored by Keeps already? I did already, I think. Didn't I? Did I do Keeps? I did, right? No? Really? I thought I did. I'm pretty sure, I, I'm pretty sure that I, I shield Keeps at some point. Might have been on a different podcast. Hey, Coney, the new vid is banging. Great job. It's not doing great, but I think it was pretty funny. So it's 10 out of 10, but 
It's fine. It was sponsored and it was scribble knots. We didn't expect it to go crazy. <laughs> I thought it was fun. Hey, I got some sad news, everybody. This is this this actually is very sad. This isn't a bit. Hold on. The Morgan and Morgan have remade me. Dude, I had no idea that was real. I thought somebody was scamming me. I'd never heard of Morgan and Morgan. They're like, yeah, we're a law injury firm. And like the, the activation was so simple. They were just like, yeah, just save these lines. And then do you want a hat? I'm like, fuck yeah, I want a hat. I think it's back there. All right, this is sad, okay? Hold on. Uh... Okay. Guys? The rumors were true. This is so sad, dude. I'm so sad about this. Really. Like, it's only been like six months. <laughs> so, it just came out like six months ago, yeah. What's Rumbleverse? It's an epic uh, live service game. And it was really cool. The game was really sick. The art style, I wasn't really a big fan of. And the, 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 like, the aesthetics of it, I didn't like. It felt like shitty Pixar. But it was still like, it, more like shitty DreamWorks. But I was like, okay, this is good. You know what I mean? I, I like the game itself. Um, and what's weird is like, people really liked the game. It had Epic behind it, although I don't know how much money they put to marketing. They had, uh, the gameplay was super fun, and they had big people who liked it. Like, Northern Lion played it a bunch, Say Jam, Maximilian Dude. Like, there were a lot of people that were playing it a lot unpaid. Not even sponsored segments. They just like the game. How the fuck do you make a game survive in 2023? What do you do? No game can live. This sucks. No game wins. Be Fortnite. How do you... <laughs> only, there's already Fortnite. How do you make Fortnite now? How do you play... Uh, do not sponsor Coney. No. I like to think that I gave it an extra month. That shit would have died in January if not for me. <laughs> Although the money they get... They did give me a lot of money. It's <laughs> probably... Probably could have bought like a like a month of marketing for that, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Coney can't like a game without it dying. Well, the, the, the easy answer to this is just like make a better game, right? Like that's always the play is like if the game is fun enough, people will play it, but that's kind of fucked up, right? Like, I don't know. Your non-enthusiasm killed the game. What are you talking? I was very enthusiastic. Every game I like dies, man. Roller Champions. I think Roller Champions is dead too, but that might have been a rumor. Hold on. Because somebody said that they were dying, and then they were like, no, that's not true, I think. Let me look. Uh, what was it? Roller Champions. It died? Don't play this music. No, they're good. They even have the team frontline season one derby. Look at that. The EMEA qualifier. Huge. And 19 likes. 20. And they're doing maintenance. Look at all these updates, bro. Mid-season update. Coney is the Grim Reaper of video games. Shut up! Don't put that on me. Strikers was bad, too. You want to talk about dead games? Was anybody else excited for this? <laughs> I was a little excited for this. I thought this might be good. No. I, no, I'm an adult. Okay, excited might not be the right word. Let's say curious. 
I was curious about this because Battle for Bikini Bottom was pretty good, but three SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom was. Really I don't know. I don't know what this review says, but I do know the score they gave it. And became a touchstone for a generation of children. I didn't even know what the fuck it was. It's like a, you still have curiosity like a baby. I'm playing it right now. It's very mediocre. It was some bafflingly terrible design choices. Obsessed with the cartoon. Well, like, nostalgia plays a large factor. I thought I, it like would just be Battle for Bikini age, Bottom 2. I just like 3D regard, platformers. Even if the experience doesn't quite hold up all these years later. I thought now, it might be kind of fun. Later, SpongeBob SquarePants Look the, at the Cosmic Shake has been made as a spiritual Look successor. At the and for better and for worse, it plays the way I remember Battle for Bikini Bottom. I'm ready! See? I'm ready. I'm ready. I forgot something, I forgot something. Now I'm really ready. Now I'm really ready. In Cosmic Shake, SpongeBob Dude, and Patrick look at the graphics. This looks a amazing. Cassandra who sells antique and mysterious items. That shit looks like a TV. This is bubble soap that supposedly grants wishes. Running around town and asking everyone he knows when will for their When we get a 3D platformer as good as Celeste, you literally can't. What would that even look like? What would that look like? <laughs> Hmm. How would you do that? <laughs> How could you make an exceptionally difficult 3D platformer? That feels impossible. Because it can't be that hard. I guess Galaxy 2, people say, is hard, but, like... Hmm. I'm thinking. Wishes. Unfortunately, all of the wishes kick in at once, tearing holes in reality and sending the citizens of Bikini Bottom off into the multiverse with all right, and so short enough to be is, enjoyable. Yeah. And my mood is... With a linear design and unlockable movement abilities, going off the main path to find a secret can have mixed results. This looks Sometimes good. you find a golden doubloon, which good. is needed to unlock extra costumes, and it feels rewarding. It Many times, fine. though, you find a side objective that is locked behind an ability you don't have yet, which can feel frustrating in the moment for one particular reason. There is no point in collecting them. While it is part of the game and platforming is fun enough to make the process enjoyable, the rewards are often lackluster. One of the main mechanics is that with each new multiverse level, SpongeBob is given a new costume to help him fit into the environment. In addition to those costumes, you can also purchase more using cosmic jelly you collect after unlocking them by- Okay, so it's just- That will make you smile and SpongeBob and Patrick will have you at least chuck- Wait, they gave it a seven? Oh, I got the wrong thing open. Never mind. <laughs> I clicked on the wrong review. GameSpot gave it a seven. Uh, IGN did not. IGN gave it a five. GameSpot gives everything a seven. I'm shocked IGN, IGN gives everything a seven or an eight. Five is average, not on IGN. Not on IGN. <laughs> IGN 5 is crazy. IGN 5 is poison. And then there's going to be a bunch of people which why do you look at reviews, blah, blah, blah. Listen, you dump head. I think reviews, while you don't only go off of them, I think what you do is you, you see all the reviews and you kind of can put together your idea of what the game is, you know? I think it's pretty easy to, to, like, put all the pieces together and get a good sense of what the game is. I think that's valuable. IGN 5 is they didn't pay me enough. That's not true, is it? <laughs> I thought GameSpot had the paying issue, right? Damn, I gave Dead Space a 9. I gotta play this. I just don't know when. Metacritic is my go-to. I think it's if if something is a 70 or above on Metacritic, I'll consider it. That's really it. I just need a 70 or above. If it's 60, I'll think about it. If it's like right up my alley, like you know. If it's anything less than no. How are you liking Hi-Fi Rush? Uh, I like it a lot. I think it's a little simple, but I had an idea for uh, the stream. Wait. Oh, is that what this is? Fantasy football for video games. You said fantasy critic, and I wondered if this... I had an idea for a stream a long time ago, and I did this one time where it was guess the Metacritic 
where we look at the games that are coming out from like the next season, like January through March, and Chat and me both guess what the Metacritic score will be, and we see who's who wins. Which I thought would be fun, but it's not really YouTube stuff. I think it'd be a fun stream thing. I might bring that back. I thought it was fun. Also, I beat your guys' ass. I I was so much closer than you guys, I think. I think I was I was higher up. I was like only a couple points off. I got Arceus. I got a couple of them. I was wrong about one of them. I don't remember which one. <laughs> Give us the run back. Whatever. I won. You're on the inside? Yeah, I work in the game industry, so I knew. Yeah. So before I started uh, the stream today, I looked up... Uh, I was trying to find music to play, and for some reason my brain said, hey, play Milo's Astro Lanes. Don't know why I did that. It's a bowling game. I rented this once. Not kidding. I don't know why I rented it. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, I thought this was on GameSpot for a second. Because this was down here? I was like, wait, why did GameSpot upload this? <laughs> Dude, these dudes are nice. So, uh, the reason I bring this up is because I looked for Milo's Astro Lanes OST, and then I saw this worst N64 music, and I was curious, so I clicked in. This happened literally like 30 seconds before I went live. This was 30 seconds before I went live. I was like, what the fuck? Imagine playing this game and you're racing. What the fuck am I listening to? Is this future music? Is this what we listen to in 2586? Oh my god, dude. It's mostly racing music. Mischief Makers? Mischief Makers is on here? I thought people like Mischief Makers. Oh yeah, this song does suck. I forgot about this. I forgot about this. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind, that goes a little crazy. A little bit stupid. Alright, that's a little bit better. I don't know this. Vigilante 8? This one's kind of groovy, actually. This isn't bad. Vigilante 8 was uh, like Twisted Metal, except it was set in the 70s, so everybody was like, groovy, disco, far out. Um, and there's a lot of this. Do you guys know this song? I remember this song. I owned this game. You know? <laughs> this song goes crazy. What's your name? <laughs> Start with a C. Start with a G. Start with a Z. This guy is so inquisitive. Nasty now. What's your name? Yeah, he's so curious. Now he's just doing the alphabet. That's how you spell it. That's how you spell it. He just spelled the alphabet. Mario artist? 
bad. Oh, this isn't bad. This is just weird. Never even seen this game before. I've never even heard of this. It's not that bad. <laughs> Rugrats? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. This is my new stream music. Wait. This is me when I start. Fellas. <laughs> oh, God, it's Watch Mojo again. He's popping his own. <laughs> That's good. It sounds like a Banjo Kazooie song. It sounds like Banjo Kazooie if you change it in a different sound font. Oh, not Rugrats. By the way, this game is Mario Party. I don't know if you guys know that. This shit is Mario Party. I played this before. <laughs> Bro, that's just the theme song. Go a little stupid. Bro, I bet if I was the sound designer for this game I, and I, I got the call for a fucking Rugrats video game, I'd be like, bag. Because it doesn't have to be good. It just has to have that fucking boop, 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 boop. That sound font is so easy. You're just like, hey, send over the Casio file, and I'll make some magic. And then you're just fucking mashing on the Casio keyboard. Boop, 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 boop. Making music for Rugrats has to be the easiest job in the world. Just baby noises. Oh, hell, they got a violin in there? Sounds like a stomach ache. This song sounds like bubble guts. Oh no, this song goes crazy. This song actually does go a little stupid. Yeah, th this guy's straight up wrong on that. This is pretty good. Yeah, these aren't that bad, bro. Now he's hating. <laughs> these are fine, dude. He's hateful. All right, maybe this one. This is just the balls theme. This one would be really confusing if you play Mortal Kombat too, because like people would be expressing emotion in that game. It'd be loud as shit anyway. You guys know the balls theme, right? You guys know the balls theme. Yoink! Ooh! Yoink! Ooh! I think you played it once. Yeah, I had that game on the Sega channel, bro. I'm so old. Neon Genesis. This is a 64 game? I thought that was a cartoon. That's a game? I thought this was a game about God or Jesus or something. What? You had Sega Channel also? I thought it was exclusive for Northeast Ohio. Hell no, dude! I can't believe you're at exclamation point. You never heard me talk about Sega Channel. I had Sega Channel. That joint was like 60 bucks a month, but it was worth it. Also rented this, and I don't know why. Why was I, as, uh, as an eight-year-old, wanting to play Paperboy? I actually think, and this isn't a joke, I think I wanted to see what a modern, fresh take on an old classic would be. And that sounds like I'm making a joke. I, it's not. 
I was like, hmm, it would be interesting to see how they adapt this arcade classic to a new generation in 3D. I was pretentious at 8 or 9. <laughs> I actually got excited for Pong the same way on PS1. Hmm, how intriguing. Hmm. <laughs> Coney, you're wearing the same outfit. It's just yellow. <laughs> Boja's wearing yellow, dude. It's literally just yellow. This is stupid. All right. Starshot Space Circus Fe I've never heard of this. All right, I don't think we're going to get anything as good as the... Uh... This is pretty good, actually. That's not bad. I'm the best! Yeah? This game and its theme are hilarious link. Oh, we're just gonna go Buck Bumble. <laughs> I never played uh, Buck Bumble, actually. I was never a Buck Bumble stan. I wasn't Buck Pilled. It's not good, it's ironic. It, this is ironic. You guys think it's good because it's silly. All right, I'm being a little silly there. It is kind of good. It's, it's better than it should be. It's better than it should be. Let's go. Let's meet in the middle. All right, you guys want to watch a movie? <laughs> I got to find a way to fix that. For some reason, all the updates will do that. Tier Zoo? Oh, there is Tier Zoo. But I actually have a different movie, which was sent, uh... Where is it? Someone told you how it's about reactivating on scene refresh or something? Oh, word? Huh? Refresh browser when scene becomes active. Oh, hell yeah. Thank you. We're locked in now. Perfect. Fixed it. Not Tier Zoo. Not yet. We're going to do Tier Zoo in a bit. I actually have a movie uh, that got sent to me where somebody actually asked me to react to their movie. Oh, wait, it's 30 minutes? I didn't realize it was 30 minutes. I kind of want to watch it, though. It's not gamers? It's not gamers. <laughs> All right, never mind. We go Tier Zoo first because it's shorter. Oh, well, actually, no. I'll do, uh, I'm going back. No, um, it's too late, you think? It's about Melee. It's about Smash Brothers. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Send it. Tears you after. All right. I'm curious because uh, this is actually a guy who's made some Smash stuff before and I haven't checked it out. But he said this. He said, hey, this, you know, check this out on your stream. You know, I like to send some shine to Smash creators. What if Melee was the first Smash game? What if Melee was the first one to come out and not 64? What world would we live in then? With Cloud! Yo! If Melee was the <laughs> first game in the series. Had four Coney saying Smash is like jangling keys in front of a baby. D look at that banjo. <laughs> Times the amount. He's so cute! Oh, I had the wrong scene open. Okay. Look at that cloud! <laughs> I forgot to change. Look at the cloud! Yo! What if Melee... I meant, to, I meant to do this. This is David V. Kimball. What if Melee was the first Smash game? He hit me up. He said, hey, check this out. And I was like, you know what? I think I will. It was the first game in the series, had four times the amount of development time, and was pitched as a flagship marketing play by Nintendo. Strap yourselves in. We're about to Whoops, look sorry. at a version. 
version of Melee that never was, and is also the most ambitious iteration of the game we've discussed yet. But Wait, before does that... we get into that, here's an actual quote from Sakurai. Sorry for the, the jump scare. I hit, I hit the wrong button. Water was cam. To propel the game Sorry. forward. I hit up and then I it started did that. by thinking, what is the best method to sell as many game cubes as possible? I didn't want just one game to draw all the attention, Dude. but rather to have a game to push the game cube as a whole forwards. And to accomplish that, what, oh, the TV broke. Bro, what ha which one of you guys did this? I don't know why that happened. I don't know why you guys get so small. That's what you get. I decided Karma. To You're not Cody Super size. Smash Brothers Melee. Is, is, Smash has to be the best system seller you could put out on any... Like, like in terms of every console, is Smash, like, the best launch title? It has to be. Halo? I don't think so. No. No. Mario Kart? Yeah, but which one's bigger? Mario Kart, you think? If a new Switch gets announced tomorrow, which one's selling more units? Mario Kart or Smash? Mario Kart's way bigger? Is it? I guess it's still selling. Mario Kart is still, like, at the top of the things. Alright, whatever. This is an actual quote. Just wait until they turn Smash into Mario Kart. They're gonna do that, bro. Quote from I'm Sakurai shortly after the game release. They're definitely doing that. I can't wait. But now... Wait, what was that? What stage is this? This rules! Well, is this... <laughs> this isn't a melee, is it? This is amazing! But now, imagine a timeline where Nintendo and HAL Laboratory took this idea even further. Dude, I want Quick Melee disclaimer, so this bad. is purely conjecture and simply an imaginary scenario created for entertainment purposes I want only. Wario and Melee so it bad, It should also bro. be noted that in this video, it I use so a variety different. of Brawl and Melee mods, so check out the video description for more details if you're curious. This is a lot of pieces. <laughs> oh my god. In this universe... Oh yeah, you guys like the new emo? There you go. Does it show up? Oh, it doesn't show up. Okay. <laughs> Vince sent me that. He said, turn this on. I was like, oh, hell yeah. The original Super Smash Bros. <laughs> was only ever a prototype, with development beginning it's in late so 1997 cool. <laughs> and shared internally in 1998, never receiving a commercial release. After Hal's presentation to Nintendo, Iwata convinced Shigeru Miyamoto and Hiroshi Yamauchi who both took great interest in Sakurai Put and, it back the project, screen like family and believed it would do quite well commercially, especially in the West. Show With me the parkage. ambition building, Smash would soon Kate move from parkage. the Nintendo 64 to GameCube as soon as dev kits were available in 2000, and HAL and I should, Nintendo I would pour all they had into, the into this into title. The family feud Damn. Yamauchi would see Smash not only as GameCube's flagship launch title, but also as a marketing tool to attract third-party developers. They were recouping the loss of Square and the Final Fantasy series on the Nintendo 64, but this well, time around, GameCube's mini party discs people? could hold a lot more data than those cartridges. Nintendo's Thank leadership you, team was determined to win third parties back, and even show more of a third party Oh, ads with, are playing. Oh, like shit, Rareware. I forgot. Ads. <laughs> Enjoy. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> I forgot. As the series debut, the title of this game would be Super Smash Brothers. Seeing as this game would have all of the development time of Smash 64, combined with the months leading into 2000, and nearly all of Melee's development time, this game would have it all. If you haven't already, I recommend you watch the 6 months video on my channel to get a sense of the additional content and a theoretical extended version of Oh, I get it. We're doing version like version an alternate Melee. timeline kind of... In that video, I okay, go over I an see. extended adventure Yo! What the extended fuck? version of Melee. What is this? In that video, I go over an extended... That looks fun as hell! Mode, additional songs in the soundtrack, additional items, trophies, and a few other changes, many now of just which said would this game also be present exist. in this version of Melee. In terms of game mechanics, Hitsun would probably be somewhere in between Smash 64 and Melee. 
Assuming Sakurai had time to refine his vision, many of the mechanics we know and love in Melee today would still remain, as it would be much later that Sakurai would change his position on including hidden advanced techniques in Smash games. Yeah, so this would be Smooth competitive. Landing, it would be or like real. Canceling, wave dashing as a byproduct of directional air dodging, and glancing blows, also known as phantom hits, would all remain, as each were deliberate and well-known yeah, inclusions okay. for the melee we got in our timeline. That being said, many oddities in melee would be fixed, such as Game & Watch having proper aerial attacks and a Game fixed shield, Game & Watch not existing, Name yeah. tags vanishing properly during Sheik's recovery, removing Mario or Dr. Mario's cape teleport glitch, and other issues, some of Wait. which have been... Removing Mario or Dr. Mario's cape teleport glitch and other during she teleport? Recovery, I've never seen Mario that. Or Dr. Mario oh, I've seen the getup attack going the other way. I didn't know. Okay, teleport that's the same thing. Other okay, issues, never mind. I think that was in Brawl, too. I remember Sakurai some weird thing. Admit Hold on. Have you guys seen this Mario Brawl cape glitch? There's something really funny in Brawl with Mario's cape. Let me see if I can find it. Might be this? No. A little bit, kind of. There's something in Brawl where if you cape somebody with the, at the ledge at the right time, they, they straight up, like, just keep holding the ledge, but they're facing the other way. <laughs> it's very funny. But I have no idea how to find it. This is just like the Toon Link thing all over again. Whatever. Admitting these were oversights, and with more time, no way to find that. would have been resolved. Production on Melee's opening movie would have started much earlier to drum up excitement for Project Dolphin and Smash itself as the flagship title. The movie would be finished in time to play at Space World 2000 instead of E3 2001. Sakurai would be tasked to create a poll on Nintendo.com the same day as Space World 2000's unveiling, asking Nintendo fans what characters they'd like to see in a crossover fighting game, and then work with both first and third party developers. Wait, what? What's what's happening? Why, why are you getting Dono walled? What happened? <laughs> Did I. What? Can mods DM me? What, what's, what's, what's the. To add as many of those characters as possible. What's the, what's the wall? <laughs> the idea here was that a third party character's inclusion in Smash would incentivize that developer to create more games for GameCube to capitalize on that audience of fans. Not only would Yuji Naka and Hideo Kojima reach out to Sakurai for a Snake and Sonic inclusion respectively, but many other third party creators would as well. HAL and Nintendo were prepared with a plan for handling third-party inclusions and had agreements ready. And now the moment you've been waiting for. The new roster- Ew! Oh my god! It's so much bigger! Oh, dude! Shadow? <laughs> Shadow would have been in it though, right? Because like, he's new now. And he, they're trying to make him hype, and the new guy, like, that's a little bit more, right? What did they do to that Lucas? Isn't that what Lucas looked like? I think that's what the Lucas was, uh, I think that's what Lucas looked like back on the, before that shit came out. Like, when they were working on Mother for the, the for the DD or whatever it was. Oh, look at that. That wolf looks cool. This guy would be a menace. Imagine this Meta Knight. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, Wario and Melee would have gone crazy. Olimar? Sure. Wario, Diddy Kong, Charizard, and Wolf would be included. I definitely would have played Olimar. Just like in the six month scenario. DDD is very However, cute. Yeah. King DDD, Meta Knight, and Ridley would also be added as popular. That Ridley is so gross. Sakurai would Ew. confer with Iwata to make sure King DDD and Meta Knight inclusions wouldn't be added as a result of Sakurai's bias, but as a true reflection of those characters' popularity. Ugh. Pitt would join the roster as another Famicom character. Oh my god, look at him. Lucas would be included in his little Mother eyes! Series, which was already released as Earthbound 64 in this universe. Miyamoto would insist on Captain Olimar as an inclusion <laughs> to promote yeah. the fledgling Pikmin series. Fledgling? Did Pikmin not do good? 
We'd also get five third-party characters. That's my favorite series. Sonic the Hedgehog and a semi-clone. Did Pikmin really do that bad? Really? It sold terribly. Really? Man. Shadow the Hedgehog, both as Sega representatives. Solid Snake from Konami. Fledgling doesn't just mean new. Fledgling implies new and struggling. It doesn't just mean new. No, it doesn't. Fledgling? Like a baby bird. <laughs> no, hold on. A baby bird is new and struggling. It means a young bird that has just fledged. Fledging means uh, having... It, it can't fly. Because it's young and unable to fly, which means that it's underdeveloped. Like this bird here. <laughs> this bird is fledging. Fledging. He's fledged. That bird is good. No, fledging, fledgling, fledgling, in my mind, and I'm sure in many other minds as well, of a lot of lurkers who aren't as vocal, I think we can all agree that it means struggling. Tommy, That's the Banjo idea. Banjo and Kazooie from Rareware, and Cloud Strife from Square. Fletchling is a Pokemon. That's this true. This roster it would is, be yeah. massive at 41 playable fighters, if you include Sheik as a I'm not a character. fledgling streamer. <laughs> With this larger character roster in mind... <laughs> The stage looks Oh hell yeah. This would scare me. Every time I go on to the character select oh god, who <laughs> this would differ also. Imagine you boot up melee and he's looking at you. He's like turned to you and then you're like what? And then as soon as you pick it, he looks back. Only larger franchises would receive multiple stages, whereas smaller franchises and each third party Don't character call Pikmin would generally receive it's just fledgling. one stage. It's not smaller, it's just Pokemon new. Pokemon would still be replaced with Sprout Tower, as was the original plan. Fire Emblem would get the cut Akania stage, Castle Siege. Some of the Nintendo 64 <laughs> stages would return, like Hyrule Castle. Nintendo Wait a minute, 64. do you think there's a way to put on, and, and nobody steal this idea, do you think there's a way to put on the NVIDIA AI onto footage of Smash so Fox is fighting, but he's always looking at the camera? Do you think there's a way to do that? <laughs> I don't think so, right? I don't think NVIDIA knows what Fox looks like face forward. Because he, he only looks to the side. There's a way to do that in game. <laughs> so, so they don't look at each other. They just they're fighting and fo like I'm Fox and I'm fighting that guy and I'm <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me. Or counterpart. I don't know why that's funny. It's stupid. Make the model face the Z axis. Yeah. Uh, I guess that's all it takes. Yo! Bro, why can't you we should just make this game. If we can make all this artist shit, just make Mushroom the game. Mushroom Kingdom would bear closer resemblance to 64's iteration I of the play stage it now. rather than Melee's. Green Greens would completely replace Dreamland. Brinstar would completely replace Planet Zebus. Corneria would completely replace Sector Z. And Yoshi's Story from 64 I forgot 64 would be replaced had with stages Melee's Yoshi's Story. Beyond Dreamland. Metacrystal or I played Metal on Cavern Planet Z would or also see an improvement the and be the stage so during much. the Metal Mario or Metal Bros fight in Adventure Mode, while also the game being is called unlockable Project stage M. Project or what? Versus Mode. Rainbow Cruise would be called Rainbow Ride as originally intended. You saw Gemini. Congo Jungle would be the name of the N64 style stage, whereas Congo Jungle from Melee would be Project renamed huh? Congo Falls. Project Who? Mushroom Kingdom 2 would be renamed to Subcon. To more accurately reflect the source material. Bro, that shit's in Mario's dream. How do you have a level in a dude's dream? New first party stages would include Bowser's Castle, Subcon Mario Raceway, <laughs> Wario's Stop. Castle, Forest of Hope, <laughs> why, from Pikmin. Why did why did so many people say that? Why did so many of you say that? And Sky Palace from Kid Icarus. Show me Distant Planet right now. Show Here are Distant some of Planet these new right stages now. In action. I don't care about this. I don't care about Bowser. Hey, Tickle. So came down in the cart. I forgot Melee doesn't have this. 
Melee doesn't have like the intros. Bowser would have some new animations and a fireball neutral beam. That seems very strong. <laughs> that headbutt? Oh my god! <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> that looks like it'll kill! I hate this Mario stage. This actually might Mario be my least favorite stage. And feature multiple toads racing on the track like in any hazard. Smash game. I don't know why. I hate this stage so much. <laughs> Wario? What What happened to Wario? What happened to him off stage? Gotta love the toads, though. No, I don't... I don't have to do anything. Did she have an air grab? Each had an aerial command, aerial down B throw. That's in P plus. Really? Mario, get your house in order. What the Wario's fuck? Wario's new set and animations would be inspired by the Wario Land series. <laughs> this song. Yeah. Oh, that's just that's just PM Wario, except with the down air. Yeah, it's PM Wario. He got the coin thing. He said he's not moving back. I love this stage so much. Oh, he's so cute. Feed him! Someone feed him! Wait, it doesn't have the slant. It doesn't have the... Captain Olimar would use his Pikmin voice and sound effects since Pikmin would be launching around the same time as Melee. It is kind of sad that Olimar doesn't have a voice in the games. Because he does, like, in Pikmin, he actually has a voice. And it's like, it's like deep as shit. Old boy. <laughs> and he's like this big. He's the best. Yeah, that's the PM Olimar one. Where that shit goes nowhere. Feed him! Oh, he's so cute. I love bulb orbs. Yes, feed him. Thank you. I'm skipping this stage. I hate this his stage. His mallet from the Kid Icarus Wait, <laughs> wait, where did he get a hammer? Pit would use his melee trophy design and his mallet from the Kid Icarus game. Wait, he just runs around with a fucking hammer? <laughs> what? He's just walking around with a toy. He got that at Dave and Buster's. Pit is cool now? He's literally just holding a different weapon. Have you never played the NES Kid Icarus? No! I played it one time on stream as a joke. It wasn't good. <laughs> Uprising was good. You know, whatever. <laughs> I'm never going to fall for that propaganda. Everybody keeps telling me that. The new third-party stages would include Green Hill Zone from the Sonic franchise, Bad Crazy stage. Gadget from Sonic Adventure 2, Shadow Moses Island from Metal Gear Solid, Spiral Mountain from Banjo-Kazooie, and a Midgar from Final Fantasy VII. That's better. Okay. Here we go. Now, let's take a closer look at the characters. Luigi would have a different voice. Since oh, there's he's got the run now. To record special takes just for Luigi. <laughs> look at his legs. I, I don't think this is worth Down it because he doesn't yippee be anymore. New with is it about the yippee? That's all I care about. Oh, don't give him that. Do not give him that. <laughs> I don't want him to do that. No. Here's one example of how clone fighters would be more unique from their base character. <laughs> he throws it up. Why is that funny to me? Doc hits the... Get the fuck out of here! Take your pills. I love Dr. Mario, man. Dr. Mario has so much soul. I don't know why. Do regular Mario just doesn't have the same feel. You know what I mean? Does Dr. Mario Young talk? Link would Have you ever met Link a doctor that did? In a few ways as well. Seems important. Don't 
Don't shoot that child. All right. <laughs> you just call the cops. Oh, a slingshot. That's a good idea, dude. All right, they would never add this. Dude, the, t the whole, like, adding taunt... Like, adding different effects with taunt, I can't believe that never happened in a Smash game. You know what I mean? Like, I'm shocked that that never... I think Squirtle can put on sunglasses. Diddy can do it, too. Lucina does it? Wait, what? Does she... With taunt? Does she? That's not taunt, though. Yeah, she takes it back off. No, no, no. I mean, like, she keeps it on. Yeah. Come on. Oh, here we go. What if Ganon was actually Probably a really strong wizard who could fly and shoot projectiles and, and kill you in Falcon. one hit? Early and uh, he had the Triforce of Power, of and he Falcon. was actually and really cool. Why did he look at me? Early development would be a carbon <laughs> copy of Captain. <laughs> what did you do? What, you gonna hit me? What are you doing? What? Falcon, and then over time, <laughs> more. You're just indoctrinated by Ganon being ass in every game. As it should be. That's the natural order. Ganon should never be good. I love the idea that, like, in this universe, right, Ganondorf is supposed to be the most powerful being. He takes over the world, and he's a huge threat, and he's the king of evil. And then when you put him in with other fighters from other universes, he's a giant pussy. <laughs> he just gets his ass beat by everybody. Literally everybody. Really puts things into perspective. You know, there are power levels. You're just scarred by your grandmother owning your ass. Dude, I've never told... I when was I don't think I've ever told that story on the mainstream. I, I've been meaning to tell that story. I, I have a story I have, but I haven't told it, like, while showing people. It was on the side stream that I showed people exactly what it looked like. In case you guys don't know, uh, I, <laughs> I played a game with my grandma when I was, like, four or five, I think. And I got so mad at her when we were playing that I threw my controller at her and it hit her in the eye and she laid on the couch for like a week. Yeah, I will tell you the story uh, later tonight, okay? I'll tell you. Listen, it sounds worse than it is. I was four or five, I guess. I don't know. Guys, it sounds worse than it is. Yes, I was a psychopath. I was four years old. Four-year-olds are literally psychopaths. That is part of your brain development. That's that's That happens to your brain. Listen, it sounds way worse than it is. I would love to tell you the story, and I'll show you and tell you in just a bit, okay? Why don't you guys talk to Carl Jung, okay? He said that that's totally normal behavior and actually probably pretty cool of a kid to do. Probably a part of normal development. That kid's going to grow up to be very smart unique moves and animations of by the way i haven't said this one time if you guys can't wait to hear that story go ahead and drop a prime on this shit. be added to the point where undo undo be that was bad undo, a undo. Falcon undo. Club. <laughs> undo. <laughs> don't undo the prime though do the prime thank you d's gravy what if ganon had a projectile and could float and also a reflector and he was really strong and handsome, and he used the sword too, and he could teleport. How about that? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be cool? What was that? It's better that he's a Falcon clone. What is he doing? This dude is magical. I wish he did all this and he was still bad. <laughs> That would actually be really funny. He does all this shit, and he's still just not good. This is canon if he came out in Fighter Pass 2. <laughs> What's Sprout Tower? Melee Mewtwo looks so funny to me, and I don't know why. He looks like a Funko Pop. He looks so weirdly proportioned. His head is so big. It's his neck? Yeah, I think so. Isn't it weird, and, and I, I've said this before on the stream, 
isn't it weird that this is like, is this his brain stem? Does this send signals to the rest of his body? If I was a sword character and I just like, would that like, you know? Or is it like a carrying thing, like the GameCube? Like I could, I could take Mewtwo with me. Oh wait, no, Mewtwo weighs is like he weighs like three hundred pounds, right? He's like mad heavy. He's psychic. He doesn't need a brain stem. <laughs> wait, so his brain? I get. I guess that's true. If you're psychic, your brain is Bluetooth. That shit just sends signals. It doesn't need like the electricity. That kind of makes sense. I feel that. Wireless brain, yeah. Mewtwo would be improved, allowing its confusion attack to reflect items and granting it the ability to hover. I, I can't watch this in good conscience. Fuck the end, Mewtwo. I don't care if he's bad now. He scarred me. This character was horrendous. Stop laughing. Look at him! Charizard that shit looked like Gumby. A Pokeball Pokemon to a playable fighter. I don't like any game where Charizard is played. I don't like getting hit by Charizard. It feels... I think Charizard might be the most annoying character to get hit by. Is that just me? I, I get personally, like, annoyed when I get hit by Charizard, and I don't know why. Like, more than anybody else. Why? I don't know. When I get hit by Charizard, I'm like, this, this stupid lizard. I shouldn't get hit by any of this. Go back to Charizard. Go back to Ivysaur. Like, if I get hit by Ivysaur, I'm like, yeah, nothing I could do. If I get hit by Squirtle, I'm like, okay. When I get hit by Charizard, I'm furious. It's annoying, dude. Alright, Flare Blue should not go through. Loving all the Falco hate. Come on! Oh my the god, Star Fox listen to characters would receive yeah, their English voice actors for the <laughs> North America and international releases, oh. as there would be enough time to record How all those additional How did this dork become the face of Smash? This fucking geek. I don't even remember his Brawl voice, actually. I think it's the jacket. People just like the jackets, dude. All right, I know this is an obvious thing that everybody talks about. I know it's uh, it's observational humor. How they get in there? <laughs> do they, do they have to climb in? That's where their ships are supposed to go. They gotta like climb in like it's a Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> it's like a play place. They gotta like get into their ship. That made me mad as hell as a kid. Did it? Mad as hell? Were you furious? Were you throwing things all around your room? Throwing a tantrum? Slide on in there, brother. <laughs> hey, Coney, first time chatter here. Which is better, orange soda or grape soda? Well, the <laughs> wait, their name is first time chatter 69. All right, well, listen. I was going to... Uh, I was going to slay you. For saying that you are a first-time chatter, despite not being a first-time chatter. However, your name has saved you this time. That's an excellent name. Uh, orange soda, all the way. I hate grape soda. It's disgusting. Artificial grape flavoring is gross. It's sec it's it's only the only thing grosser than artificial grape flavoring is artificial strawberry scent. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? It's Awful. It, like, gives you a headache. It's like a migraine. It's like an artificial scent. I don't know if it's strawberry or what, but, like, like a chemical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's bad. It's so bad. Artificial banana is awful? Who's eating artificial bananas? I think the only artificial banana I've eaten was in Nerds. <laughs> Wolf would be similar in appearance to his I think that design was it. in the Melee opening movie and be voiced by Jock Blaney. Jock? French Wolf? <laughs> I won't say it. All right, that Ford Smash is crazy. That's got to go. That kick is nuts. Oh, did I say Nerds? I meant Runts. Yeah. 
good, but I'm better. Oh, oh no! Would have a few more this asshole. Donkey Kong 64 in his Boo! <laughs> Never mind. He doesn't have banana. He's fine. He's cool now. There's no banana. Where? Oh, that's DK. I was like, where's his thing? Isn't it crazy that Sakurai didn't think of this? Donkey Kong didn't have this dash attack until, I think, Smash 4 because of PM. It feels like PM, it took four games. Yeah, PM was like, yeah, we should just give him that dash attack. And Sakurai is like, ah, fuck. I forgot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can't believe he did that. And I did that wasn't the only time, dude. That wasn't even the only time that they took something for PM, dude. What was his previous dash attack? He like does this like fucking kick. He's like, ugh. <laughs> I'm trying to think he does the fucking he it I don't know how to describe it. It looks like this. He like does that, but he puts his foot up. <laughs> it's a, it's a stupid kick, and it, it it's really bad. It's really bad. Hold on, Donkey Kong melee dash attack. No way, this is on Google. And there it is. <laughs> melee players are psychotic. All right, this is what it looks like. You see this? He does like a little foot thing. What did he have in Brawl? Actually, I bet if I put in Brawl, I won't be able to find it. Damn. I thought we were one unit. It's fucked up. We were supposed to be together. It was the same thing, but it looked a little different. Why does Wario show up? Where's Wario? Oh, there he is. Dash attacks. <laughs> Ta-da! DK's dash tag got me like... Yep. Okay, I'm not watching the rest of that. I just can't believe Sakurai stole that, bro. Kirby would be substantially buff. Uh-huh. Ah, he gets the slide. Okay. Alright, no, 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 no. We gotta get rid of this. I've played PM. I hated this. That was miserable. We're not doing this. Cut that. Cut this. Bad Kirby, bro. Bad Kirby. Bad Kirby. It's annoying. Then now, like wait a minute. BDD would both wait a minute. Surely we're gonna throw Japanese Waddles, right? Actor. Oh, I love that suit. <laughs> What did DDD just do? What kind of move was that? Wait, that was Bowser side B. Yeah, wait a minute. I didn't even think of that. I didn't even put that. I didn't even put that together. Oh, not only Gordos. Surely that was just lucky. Oh my god. That's so good. Oh, that's a neat up B. Where he does like the stab on the ground. Kind of like that. There are no waddles? I saw something today. Oh my god. I saw a video today at PM. And somebody looked at this forward tilt and they said, damn, that's a crazy move. And it made me remember just how insane this move is. DD forward tilt was crazy. I love this move. This is how you beat Olimar in Brawl, by the way. This is how you, because like, I wasn't, like, I, I, I was an Olimar slayer in Brawl. I was good at fighting Olimar. And this fucking F tilt is the answer. Because that shit did like 10. And that's like, one tenth of Olimar's life right here. Just it hurts.
That's so cool. Sam That's must so have cool. some new abilities inspired by How do Waddle Dees differ from Gordos? Waddle Dees are I think they're better. But so I don't know how to put this. Waddle Dees and Brawl are uh like just regular projectiles. They can get on the stage and they walk around and they can jump and hit people, but it very rarely happens. Uh, it's less about them being on the stage and more about the pressure, like, throwing them out because they cut off recovery routes or force air dodge and then you can go out and hit them or you could force them high. Like, you could do... It, it was mostly an offstage thing. You could do something where you put them on the stage against Falco because then Falco can't ground a laser. Not that they would really do it anyway, but... They could block laser or banana if you put it in between you and Diddy. I'm dropping some matchup knowledge. Why are you saying I'm explaining? I'm teaching you how to play Brawl DDD. I'm trying to help you. By Super Metroid and the upcoming. Metroid if you ever want to play Brawl DDD, I'm trying. Remember this. Very important information. This shit is PM. Dude, I once had to play Plup at a at a Smash and Splash. That shit was not Ridley's fun. Appearance in the opening movie Samus Wario is disastrous. How the fighter. fuck do I get in on that? While not originally Did he kill you? Roster, yes. A lot. Many times. That. I was so annoyed. I couldn't get in. You should do Metafy lessons, but only Brawl DDD. <laughs> I just show them chain grab over and over. This model looks so gross. Like the animations and the... I can appreciate the idea. <laughs> Where is he going? All right, that, that's cheap. Stop bouncing on my head. And ban him from the dorm. Lucas would came use in on a mic guard? 64. Does that happen? In I don't remember Mother 3. That happens? I just remember the monkey dancing. Wait, was that up air? Or a spike with up air? Oh, it was down. Was down. That's Nick Carter? <laughs> it is, isn't it? That is Nick Carter. <laughs> That's that's every uh like late teenager. This is every 17 to 19 year old in the year 2000. He looks like the guy from Final Destination, the guy that had the premonition. It's just every movie star. James Vanderbeek. Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Roy would have unique moves from Mark. Devin Sawa. That's Roy's a meme, bro. Never should have been in the game. PM Roy is cool. I don't know what he does different. What was that move? What the fuck? <laughs> this step. Ha! <laughs> that move looks crazy. That's F tilt? That's F tilt? That's F tilt. That's that's huge. That's a huge burst move. Is that not a crazy move? Look at how bursty that is. Unless he doesn't shift before. That might be like he might have done a movement thing there, but that looks stupid. Each Yoshi costume would get its own egg color. Wait. Is that is that not the case now? Does Red Yoshi have green egg? <laughs> That's really funny. I didn't know that. I've never even like thought about it. I never noticed that. That's crazy. Lazy and greedy devs. <laughs> Lazy ass devs. Sakurai, what were you even doing? 
not your job, clearly. Must have, bro, stop playing all those games and maybe make melee. Stop playing King of Fighters. Make some melee, you feel me? Like, oh, not this asshole. <laughs> and finally, the third party characters. Banjo and Kazooie's moveset oh, will be inspired this piece by Banjo Kazooie shit. and Banjo Tooie. On their stage, Spiral Mountain, notes would appear as collectible. Whee! Once five they look notes ugly. were collected, Mumbo would I mean, emerge it, it does and look use like his magic like, to right? rotate the mountain. Oh, his ass is stuck outside his house. What? Oh, here he comes. Do you guys know the origin of the name Mumbo Jumbo? <laughs> Does anyone know where Mumbo Jumbo came from? Anyone at all? Ah, <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> it was like two weeks ago. Probably racist. Was it? I don't think it was racist. It was more sexist, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Misogynist more, yeah. I don't know. Dude, you know, it's weird. I used to really like Banjo-Kazooie. And I, I literally think, and this is crazy to say out loud, I think between him being so bad and annoying in Smash... And me playing more Mario 64 and coming to the conclusion that I think Mario 64 is a better game. I don't like Banjo much anymore. Like, I just don't think he's as cool. Seriously. I just don't like the game as much. And it's sad because I loved the game before. But, like... You switched? I think I did switch. Crazy, right? Who would even defend Banjo as a better game than 64? I did. I thought Banjo was way better than Mario 64, but as I started speedrunning, I was like, damn, dude, Mario 64 got so much cool shit in it. There's so much to do. I don't know, man. Banjo is more soul than 64? Maybe, kinda. But 64 is just more fun to play. I don't know. And plus, you know, Sunshine and Galaxy and all that is good. And Banjo-Tooie is bad. Very bad. Very bad. Banjo, kill them! Kill them, Banjo! <laughs> Why is he... I love that kick. Get them, Banjo! <laughs> what is Banjo doing? He's not even trying to hit them. Oh, hell no. He's pooping eggs. <laughs> Jeez. Does Banjo really only have one good game? If you... Shouldn't have paused it here. <laughs> uh, no, all of Banjo's games are really good. All of Banjo's games are amazing. You should play all of them. They're all great. They're all very good games, you guys. <laughs> They're all very... <laughs> hey, at least Kazooie isn't looking. Her ass has no idea what I'm saying. Uh, no, Banjo-Kazooie is good. If you count Diddy Kong Racing, then that's two good games. <laughs> Whee! Diddy? I didn't even know Diddy was here. Bro, blast it off. Cloud would be voiced by Steve. Dude, he looks like he was made... Does anyone know... Now, this is this is a real test. Does anybody know what that software was called in the early 2000s, late 90s? The There was software that you could use to create like character poses. Was it called Poser? I think it was just called Poser, right? Poser? It was Poser, right? I used to create... Po this is so embarrassing. I used to do... Uh, RP federations for pro wrestling where whoever wrote the better promo would win and I used to be I used to be a really good writer so I win a couple I won I won some belts I was a world champion bro 
I was I was a kid. I was like 10 to 12, but I was a good writer, bro. I was a world champion in a couple games, all right? And the reason I bring this up is because like, I made my wrestler imposer, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I took Brian Pillman, and I just, like, changed his shirt and his hair. <laughs> Holy shit, Cody. That is so cool. Thank you. I think so, too. I thought it was good. My guy's finisher, this is not a joke, was a shooting star press flying headbutt. So think like a shooting star press into a headbutt, which would absolutely give you brain damage. I'm glad that never existed in real life. <laughs> that that's ag That is absolute CTE. But holy shit, my guy went crazy. You guys don't think I'm a good writer? Hold on. You guys don't think I'm a good writer? Does anyone in the chat remember this game? Black and Bruised. It was kind of in between uh, Ready to Rumble and Punch Out or whatever. It's like an arcade uh, fighting cartoon game. They had a contest on their site. Whoever wrote them, the best fan fiction would win. It was like a Nintendo, it was like a GameCube travel screen and a giant like stand up I don't know how to put it it was like a marketing piece it was like a um I, I don't even know how to put this no standee and some other stuff and I won that competition I was uh 2003 I was 14 I won it I wish I still had that I think I was the only person that wrote in. <laughs> I was probably the only person that wrote in on this. I was, I was, I was, I was 14 years old. Was I 14? 14. Yeah. So don't tell me I wasn't a good writer, bro. I went crazy. You Coney, can we get this for situations like this? No, I'm not adding that. And actually, I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that thing. Is that a bread bug? I want to ban you so bad. Give you a timeout. <laughs> I just give you a timeout. I just fought the bread bugs today. So I was curious. Which would be his debut rather than Kingdom Hearts, which was still several months out. <laughs> I was in the glutton's kitchen. That dude took my Cloud fucking moves, donut. Including his limit break he took my donut and he killed 20 of my Pikmin and then I had to seven. restart. Breaking my limits. Oh, he's talking. I do not want this dude in the way. Actually, maybe, because he'd be easier to kill. He'd be off stage. Yeah, I don't know if I... I don't know how I feel about this cloud. He'd be worse, Link? Worse, Link. What? Look at his moves. Wait a minute. He does have Smash Bros. in there. Hold on. That's criminal. Go to fucking jail. What is that? <laughs> yeah, where's your melee link now? Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Watch this interaction. Link clears. <laughs> You're right. Link wins. Oh, you can't see it? Hold on. I think you heard it, but... He blocked that shit. Said, nope. Don't even touch me. Got him. Get you waiting, huh? Melee Snake is probably bad, right? Solid Snake's moveset would be a collaboration between Sakurai bad. and Kojima. 
Metal Gear Solid 2 was releasing around Unless the same he gets time that goddamn Mac. Trank gun. So Don't give him the Trank gun. Resemble his appearance no Mac way he gets the Trank gun. That is fanfic. The Trank gun is absolute fanfic. Sakurai would never allow gun that. Would be his signature weapon. No one. He would not get that Trank gun. No way he gets that. There's the no where he gets that Trank gun. first Metal Gear Solid game, Shadow Moses Island would remain no. the stage representing the franchise. That Trank gun is terrible. Get All right, that's kind of cool, though. That's I kind of like that. <laughs> I like that, actually. I'm a fan of the walking with Tom. He'd be awful in melee, right? Well, I don't know. He yeah, made him work. I think melee is is like he would just get run over. Unless you give him fanfic decks, like you know, like the PM folks. Well, never mind. If he still does the thing where he can camp with grenades and then you hit the grenade instead of him, like, if he's way heavier than Fox, that, that's probably worth it. You know what I mean? Sonic's <laughs> that's set Sonic. would be inspired by his first game and Sonic Adventure. Look at him oh, run. Yeah. He'd be voiced by Ryan Drummond and would use his Dreamcast-era design. On his stage, Green Hill Zone, yeah! Tails and Knuckles would be seen in the background, with Metal Sonic appearing occasionally as an Easter egg. Ready? Go. Let's go. He is really dark. It is weird that Sonic used to be this dark, right? When did that change? Ready? He did not go anywhere. Bro said go. <laughs> he went like a foot. He was he went lighter in Sonic 06? Really? I like darker Sonic. There he goes again. Going in the wrong direction. Wait, Shadow would have Is that his PM forward air? That? That's not what it used to be. No? Is that neutral air? Oh, Falcon neutral air. Gotcha, okay. Capsule. But eventually be reworked. Because in PM he has that fucking forward flip. To his own. Yo! Character. He's got the slideies! He'd be considered a semi clone of Sonic, only nominally. His oh, he's set cool. would be drastically different. I wanna play him. I want to play Shadow now. Oh, I like him. I'm a Shadow guy. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Spear, bro. That's what I'm saying. Drop the spear. Boo boo. <laughs> bro said, ouch. <laughs> ouch. All right, I'm getting... I'm getting PM Mewtwo vibes. This looks a little stupid. Yeah. Adventure mode would have branching paths, including new sections for hidden fighters that would be unlockable as new stages branching before the fight paths? gets found. How much dev time did they get? Here's what assist capsules. Shadow being in the game would have changed my life trajectory. You know, that that is... That's probably true for a lot of people, actually. Unironically. Because, like, if you're a huge Shadow fan and he gets in Melee and you're like, I love him, I want to be the best Shadow in the world, and then you, like, really devote yourself. Damn, dude. That's crazy. Deku Nuts and Timed Mine items would have looked like. I never realized how much <laughs> Wario is now doing the, the banjo stare. What is he like? A Smash inclusion changes a lot of lives who gets in Smash. More so than, like, you know, if another fighting game comes out, like, it, it doesn't really matter who's in it because they'll always find somebody, but, like, people get really attached to these characters. And so if you're really into, like, I don't know, I'm trying to think of an example because Pyra Mithra isn't a good one. Those are only people who are already here. It's probably, like, newcomers in current games, but... Yeah, Banjo didn't change anybody. 
He should have. Thank you, Kipcom. Mega Man, maybe? Yeah, if you're like a big Mega Man fan, you're like, I want to do that. Different you know? Pokeball Pokemon, including one from Smash 64, would have also been added. Wait, so it was Magikarp in the first game, right? Because I always get, like, mandela Because it's Goldeen also, now. Also, Sakurai's vision for Final Smash is from Smash 64. Would it was Goldeen? Was it always Goldeen? It was always Goldeen. Why do I think it's Magikarp? He said it. I love that sound. Fire! <laughs> I love that so much. Yo! That is so much cooler. Totsugeki? Bro said to... Why do you say dolphin? No dolphin on the street. Wait, Totsugeki means assault? Wait, really? I always thought she was saying dolphin. I just assumed. I really assumed that she just said dolphin. I thought she said dolphin, 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 dolphin. Really? I thought that's what she. I. Huh. Alright. My bad. <laughs> I really thought so. I thought it was dull. My bad. In English, she says Mr. Dolphin? Wait, really? <laughs> I'll take the sky any day. Time for an payback. How did Falcon convince his friends to shoot you? <laughs> like, I get why he cares, but I don't know. If I'm peppy, I'd be like, I don't know, Falco. That sounds like accomplice behavior. Is this all of them? <laughs> Smash single-handedly saved Fire Emblem and Kitakaris, and is the only reason Falcon and Ness still exist in gaming culture. Yeah. I mean, did it save Kid Icarus? I don't know if it saved it. I I think it gave it a couple more years. Saved is a strong word. You got one more game. <laughs> and it, I don't know how well it did, but I haven't seen a sequel. Where is it? Mod check? Where is the... Revived? That doesn't count as a revival. That's like a... That's, that's like a... One of those things where, like, you come back to Earth for one day. You got all dogs go to heaven. Fire Emblem I'll give you, though. Get him, Bulborm! Kill him! By the way, and I hate to say this, you know I hate to do it. Ads are in 30 seconds. Listen, if you have a Prime, just go below the video. Just check it out. It means a lot to me. It's free, and it's a great way to support the stream. Go ahead and go below the video. And drop a prime or a tier one. Otherwise, enjoy the ads. It's like three minutes long. I can't help you. I'll see you soon. Good luck, everybody. I never ask. I really don't. Thank you, Sean Isaac. Oh, God! <laughs> He's so big. Thank you, AWS. Thank you, all fans. Good discount. Super Smash Bros. would release as a GameCube launch title on September 14, 2001 in Japan and November 18, 2001 in North America. I distinctly remember being it's in Best Buy when I bought this. What a melee like this would have done for Nintendo I was with GameCube. my dad. That's crazy. How many more console sales would this version of Melee have driven? It's certainly fun to ponder these what-if scenarios. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you don't mind, hit a like and make sure you're subscribed. If you saw something interesting on screen, I saw Falco just kill a guard. Bro, he's not even going Since stealth this is mode. A concept video. Most of what you're seeing oh is not possible within melee yet. I have killed I'll all the guards, Falco. As much of it as I can. Huh? I'd also like to mention I have a second YouTube channel you can subscribe to. Well done, thank you, David V. Kimball, for the movie. Everybody, give it up. I'll drop a sub and a like. Sure. Pretty good. Not bad. 
I could be obsessed with this. I could see being obsessed with this for 20 years versus what we fucking got. <laughs> I, you know, I, you know what? I'm, I, I'm sure melee is very fun. If you like, if you, if you buy into the melee love into the Fox love, you know, if you buy into the melee stuff, can you post my link? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's gonna, it's, it's bad if people click on it right away. Because if they click on it and click away, then you get zero view time. So what I'll do, instead I'm going to drop your channel here. Some other stuff on the channel. Because like if they go there and then they immediately click off. There you go. Sub to the channel if you're interested in more Melee stuff. But what I'm interested in... <laughs> wait a minute. I have one question. It's a question that's burning in my soul. I have a real, honest to God question that I've been wanting to know forever, for years. <laughs> Fellas, when are we balancing cows, dude? When are we balancing cows? These dudes had it, had it too good for too long. They're too strong. They got horns. They make milk? I think they're dumb. They destroy the environment. They destroy the stage. <laughs> These cows are going to send us to a, a, a world of boiling seas. It's going to get so hot on this planet because these cows can't stop shitting. I've been saying this, dude. And I know that you're with me. Our cows OP, friend of the channel Tear Zoo, is about to find out if that's the case. I love Tear Zoo. This is my fucking guy. Maybe we'll have another question for him in the middle of this video. I have added him so many times with this. <laughs> Where is that bull going? I thought bulls were dumb. This dude figured out how to get to the red guy. Oh, hell no. That dude in the audience is mad. <laughs> Jesus. Cows are one of the most popular builds in the game. Are they? And normally, a high population is a good indicator that a build is pretty powerful in the current meta. How many... Are there more cows or chickens? Chickens, right? They're smaller. Chickens. Because chickens, chickens don't have live birth. Chickens have eggs. Chickens in number, cows in area. <laughs> Alright, if we, if, we, if we laid every cow down... It would be a wider space. But if we counted every single one, chickens would win. What if you don't count eggs? This is stupid. <laughs> However, I think in the case of cattle... Oh, that cow's hot! Which make their Give him water! He's like a obvious. dog. Are cattle low-tier builds that are simply propped up by human activity? I think or so. Or are they a genuinely powerful high tier that would dominate with or without human help? Let's delve into <laughs> their stats and abilities to find out. I, I am of the belief cows would not exist without us, but maybe I'm wrong. If we're talking bulls... Cattle are part of a powerful faction of builds called bovines, which also includes the bison, cape buffalo, water buffalo, and historically, the auric. All four of these dudes were eating. All four of them had the... <laughs> At the munch. While there are a few differences between them, oh, which we'll cute. discuss in a tier list at the end of the video, Yo! there are a few <laughs> common traits. Bovines have an exceptionally high HP stat. It takes a lot of damage to bring them down, pretty much requiring team strats from multiple predator oh, that players. Poor at once. Buffalo. And unlike some other high HP builds, oh, bovines man. don't just sit there this makes me the sad, no, dude. They can strike back with incredible force. Makes me sad they need three for one guy. Wow. Massive damage on Where's my team? To be caught in their oh, path. fuck that and car. What did he stab? Can inflict massive damage Bro, on stab the car's aorta. <laughs> that car's bleeding. What's going on? Oh, no, that car. Someone get it to a car doctor. It <laughs> just car blood everywhere. Be caught oh, in no. Unlike antlers, which fall off and need to be regrown each year. Ew. The horns cattle have, they have year round. Always ready to wreck someone's plan of attack. Their mobility stat is kind of mid. Definitely not high enough to reliably no. escape. Oh, ow. 
and Ooh. their intelligence and stealth are both below very average low. for a mammal. Very However, low. Very neither stupid. of these stats yeah. are all that integral to the bovine build's main Are there strategy. any camouflage cows? does create a potentially exploitable vulnerability to things like traps <laughs> and lower their resistance to distractions and intimidation tactics. It's not so low that bovines aren't able to utilize... I... Depends on the environment. I don't mean like a black and white cow. Is there like any desert cow that is brown? You know what I'm saying? A camel? <laughs> you know, that's a really good point. That's a really good point. That is really good. I guess a brown desert cow is a camel. Huh. Eyes team combos. Quite the contrary. I like that. Fact. The herd defense tactics employed by a competent herd of cattle makes them borderline impossible to defeat in a group. And since they have such a high HP stat, well, this let him gives go. cow's teammates a lot of time to regroup Help and launch a team. if one of their herd members goes Thank down you. and Jesus. needs to save. Next, we should discuss their unique abilities and their signature combat moves. Bovines all have the ruminant ability, Aww. which enables them to gain XP and level up all just from eating grass. This might seem <laughs> like a them. boring ability, but its usefulness is actually hard to overstate. Having this perk essentially how means how much that do one they of the eat, most though? abundant they, like, eat all day. in the game becomes your main source of XP, completely removing the need to search and forage for food. Yeah, this but then you're the just sitting in there. Dude, this is such a pussy build. You just sit there and grind all day. You don't even do anything. You're not fighting anybody. You're just into eating. Things like You're mashing e. keen eyesight or I'd be a, to be I, I would dig, bro. And can reinvest those points into other stats, I would dig or be an owl. I would dive bomb, such a high dude. Base stat total. I would be an owl, I think. I'm an owl player. Move lactation to its limits. Cow milk is one of the most nutritious substances in the game and allows new cattle players to level up extremely quickly. This helps keep their offspring Aww. safe, as it means they spend less time in the more vulnerable, low-weight class. That's cute! And quickly reach a size where hardly anything could realistically take them down alone. The cattle's signature move is Goring Rush, an extremely powerful head bash attack that deals oh my heavy God. damage and inflicts incredible knockback. Yeah, but that only hits one target. Good distance and also likely knocking the target down. <laughs> which allows for easy follow-up attacks. I love the zoom-ins. Their sharp moves I do love the deal zoom extra damage Those are great. to prone enemies. So this straightforward excellent. combo can be devastating if it catches an opponent off guard. That is about it when it comes to the cow's main combat moves. Cows can kick as well, but it's more of a stomp than anything. Yeah, they don't you're not have gonna... the flexibility no. oh, or power to headshot head someone like a horse Now cat. that looks stomp like a camel. Anything. There's a brown cow. What's going on with this cow? That cow looks like a monkey. Is that a cow? The fuck is this? Baby bison? Are you sure? It's a monkey cow. <laughs> Bisons look like that? That looks like a monkey. Are you sure? Look how flexible the legs are. Ugh. It's ability or power to head headshot. Oh, I don't like, like that a one. horse can. They also cannot deal damage with their bite. They can't. They don't have upper teeth. Not a super big deal, but biting is a powerful option to have in a pinch, so it's at least worth mentioning. Now, cows don't have upper teeth. Press one if you did not know that, and please be honest. Please be honest. This is brand new information for me. I had no idea. What the fuck? How would you even learn that information if not for Tier Zoo? Do you need two sets of teeth to bite? I get you either need two you either need two teeth, top and bottom, or a, a really strong cleft. Oh, is that why they chew in circles? I, really? Do cows have upper teeth? Oh, they do. But they can't bite. <laughs> they have 32 teeth. Bro, he just like me. Uh, he just like me, dude. Wait, so they do have upper teeth? I can't... Coney, that's how I chew because of Adderall. What? <laughs> you do the cow chew because you take your... Uh-huh. Well, let's get into the cattle's weaknesses and counterplay. So, due to the cattle's low intelligence stat... 
its resistance mm. to mental status conditions like intimidation, yeah, distraction, or hell. trickery is reduced. Distraction? Intimidation is a pretty common tactic employed by a variety of different builds, from predators to omnivores to herbivores. Yeah. Intimidation is one of the most effective you tactics just against him, cattle. Dude. Ah! It can often result in a cow losing a battle that it very easily could have won if it had not been scared away. <laughs> and conversely, if a cow does decide to oh, take no. the offensive, distractions can easily... Dude, what? This this is a really weird... <laughs> what, what else am I supposed to think? I know you're trying to blur out the violence, but like oh, those aren't like popsicles. They're not like stuck to his fur. I we know what that is. It, it, yeah, it, I don't know. It's feathers. It's just a big flamboyant cow with lots of peacock feathers. You think? Those are sponsors. It's like a NASCAR thing. I, just, I don't. You know what are we supposed to think here? They divert the attack, causing it to completely miss. Oh, While that this is, dumb of course, hell. extremely risky, overcommitting to an attack and whiffing can oftentimes mean the difference between decisive victory and crushing defeat. Dude, cows are here. Whoa! Advanced <laughs> players will even be able to utilize a combination well, of intimidation and distraction to kite cattle in specific <laughs> directions, enabling them to control entire herds, which is what has allowed human mains to capture huge numbers of cattle. Cattle are known for their goring rush attack, which, while powerful, is imperfect. Many builds put a ton of what is the most valuable animal we've domesticated? Is it a cow? It's either cow, chicken, or dog, right? Worldwide, is it goats? I know goats are really important in other countries. Camel. <laughs> I don't know if we've domesticated camel. Camels tolerate us. I'm not keeping that shit as a pet, though. Monkey. <laughs> you can't domesticate a monkey. You can only uh, get it to wait. <laughs> you give it, give a monkey enough time, it'll undomesticate for you. You can teach it patience. Horses? Ah, horses is a good answer, actually. Milk, beef, and leather. Yeah, I think cows clear. But dogs, though, because dogs control the cows. So I think you need the dogs, right? Like points into the ability concussive force resistance, enabling the answer is horse. Transit, food, and glue. Food. This dude eating horse. Them to throw out headbutt attacks without much risk. <laughs> cows have some blunt force horse. resistance, but not enough that headbutts and charging on, attacks man. are without risk. In fact, at high speed, cattle can easily take lethal damage in a single hit if they strike another <laughs> player at full force with their charging oh attack. God. Builds like the goat or bighorn sheep can easily best we, a cow We're getting in a lot of mileage combat, out of this sound effect. Even though the cow's stats are much higher in a vacuum. Builds with forward-facing horns Wait. can also... Even though the cow sheep are, are dumber than cows? By a lot? Dude, look at this. Sheep are like twice as dumb as cows. I didn't know they were that dumb. All right. Much higher in a vacuum. Builds I didn't know that they were that stupid. I thought cows were dumb. Quite a All challenge right, to bad. bovine builds, Oops. as bovine horns tend to face to the side and are more used for swiping and slashing at opponents than for stabbing forward. This means that in a direct confrontation, <laughs> sharp and cows are at least curious. She just exists. Player, while keeping them out of reach of connecting with their own horn attacks. There aren't enough different bovines for a proper full-length tier list video. A wolf? But I think it can do a quick <laughs> rapid-fire rank. A wolf can walk up to a herd of sheep and act like a sheep, and they all drake. <laughs> Wait, is that real? I thought that was like a cartoon thing. I know there's a whole, like, wolf and sheep's closing thing, but I thought that was just a metaphor. <laughs> sheep, if a wolf walks up to sheep, that's that's real? If he pretends that, dude. <laughs> they all just drake. That's where the metaphor comes from. I thought it was like a colorful turn of phrase. I didn't think that was real. A farmer friend told me all sheep really want to do is find a way to kill themselves. Wait, what? Sheep are actively just trying to find ways to die at all times? Oh my god. I to close out this video. I didn't know sheep were the like basic that. Basic cattle comes in at a solid B tier. Definitely B tier not for a that? Bad build but one with a lot of weaknesses that high tier builds can exploit. Their main Ooh. advantage over the other, more wild cattle variants, is that due to selective breeding by humans, the domestic cattle are actually the best in the game at milk production. 
and sure. therefore their offspring level up and reach larger sizes much quicker. Yeah, because a much more beginner yeah. friendly build. Although at the end of your playthrough, there's a good chance a human will eliminate you. And also in B tier, we have the Yak, a mountainous good edit. of the cow. Very good edit. Opted for slightly lower base stats. I get the good ending though. That wouldn't happen to me. And better mobility. What choices do you have to make to get the good ending as a cow? You, I think you have to be really big. Well, no. <laughs> that's actually worse. <laughs> that, that's actually way worse. Because then there's... <laughs> Born in India? Is that how you get the good ending? Uh, well, like, if you win a lot of blue ribbons, right? Like, if you're winning at the state fair. Uh, yeah, I guess there are no good endings. So. Icy or rocky Be pretty, terrain. yeah. Same basic weaknesses as the common cattle, but its ability to survive the cold Himalayan mountains means that it has less natural enemies to contend with Aww. than cattle in less hostile climates do. At the bottom of A tier, we have the bison. The bison are the largest bovine builds and traded some of their power stats for extra health and defense. I thought that shit was extinct. As a result, they have shorter horns and lots of padded fur on their head, meaning that they can tank a lot more damage, but also can't deal as much damage using Gore and Rush. This I thought they were gone. This can be a bit of a problem, bro. as being able to one-hit a wolf would really help discourage aggressive teams of wolves from attacking them. Basically? They get a one -hit kill Wait, they came crit, back? Some wolves get pretty brave Damn, you could do that? Bison. Still, it went down to 84? The near tank of the North America server and have favorable matchups Yeesh. against the grizzly bear. So still definitely Wait, South Bison America beats bear? And have favorable matchups against the grizzly bear. Dude. <laughs> You're telling me a bear would lose to a cow but beat a gorilla? The bison, the gorilla would fuck up that bison. I'm telling you. Gorilla versus bison, who wins? It's not a debate. It's not a question. Gorillas have hands. <coughs> Grab both. <coughs> a Mortal Kombat fatality, dude. Like Shao Kahn. <coughs> the gorilla teams up with the bison. <laughs> the gorilla and the bear team up to face a, co a, a common enemy. That's what it is. The gorilla and the bear is like Spider-Man 3. They need to fight this common foe, and they kill that bison. So, still definitely a solid high tier. Next in A tier, we have the Water Buffalo, a bovine build with roughly equivalent stats to the common cattle, but with higher offensive stats and massive horns. They get a mobility bonus in shallow water, which, while not that busted of an ability, is still pretty nice to have. I don't know what the water difference buffalo between a be water buffalo and like, the most powerful solitary do they just like the, the, game, the, the river? <laughs> Anything that can take on this thing has to be at least A tier. The human player base in the Buffalo a are extinct. Is that what I'm thinking of? Hold on. No. Hold on. The American Buffalo is alive. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> I really thought you had. They aren't near threatened, though. They are near threatened. So that's not even close. Hey, things aren't things aren't all sunshine and rainbows for these bison, by the way. That's dinosaurs. <laughs> oh, I was thinking about dinosaurs. Oh, my bad. I thought a bison was like that bird that's like really dumb and can't fly and like hops around. My bad. India server is also notably less aggressive towards bovine players, Aww. which makes them a lot more viable in that Oh my battle. god, that's so when cute. when it comes to hostile metagames, nothing compares to Africa. And despite the abundance of extremely powerful predators like the lion and hyena, and territorial giants like Hyenas the are so elephant, ugly. the cape oh. buffalo is still notorious for being one of the most dangerous builds in the game. It's one of Africa's big five, a status given to builds which are notoriously difficult for humans to defeat 1v1. And so I think for really? this reason, the African Cape Buffalo ranks first among the bovine builds. Humans but can't it still doesn't beat a buffalo? -tier, mostly because it's no, overshadowed hippos, by... No, hippos are pussies, dude. They're so slow, so big. ...by the wildebeest in the African savannah. What are they gonna do? The wildebeest, which is not a type of... <laughs> no, hold on. All right, hold on. Wait, wait. <laughs> Anybody? Anybody? One, two, three, four. <laughs> it's, uh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> I only got a couple. <laughs> Only like three or four. Only like three or four. I'm not scared of a hippo, though. 
type of cattle I beat buffalo, the ass. but rather is essentially an antelope with higher stats. Everybody it shows you the thing about like the, buffalo, the watermelon, but it bite, does have but... a much higher base speed stat. And this speed is pretty crucial for being able to escape an ambush from Africa's predator builds and for punishing opponents who don't respect the wildebeest's range, leading to the wildebeest being vastly more successful than the cape buffalo. This level of supreme optimization is what it takes to crack S tier. Hippos will African murder server. you for what? Now, this doesn't mean cattle will never be S tier. In fact, what I would think I, there's what a would I do to piss off a buff uh, hippo? <laughs> prior to humans unlocking the gunpowder technology on the tech tree, you with four times the muscle, could you be the hippo? Probably. I feel like any human with four times their own muscle. That's gotta be powerful. Four me's? Actually, no, it doesn't sound that strong now that you put it that way. Never mind. Uh, maybe maybe 10 me's. I think 10 me's could win. Bison were the undisputed S tier of North America. And although Four they were butter beans but punching the, the server, fuck out of a hippo, are slow, but surely returning to healthy levels. It's quite an inspiring story, which you can check Depends out if right hippos have tails, curiosity. that's true. Oh, we went into the ad here? Wait. I was waiting for the low tier. Is the lowest tier cow the cattle? There's no C tier cow? But it still doesn't quite crack S tier. Mostly because it's overshadowed by the... Really? No low tier cows, huh? Damn. Just a straight up mid tier. All right. They are indeed OP then. Yeah, I guess so. Well, I mean, if your worst build is B, that's not bad. They'd be ruminating, bro. <laughs> Actual ruminating. That's kind of sick. Are oxen not cows? I don't know. I I don't... There's got to be some kind of differentiation. Yeah, how strong is ruminating? It's just eating grass. I don't know what the difference is. Did you know a plural of beef is beeves? I don't think that's true. Oh my god. Well, that's archaic. That is archaic or humorous. It's not true. Is there such a word as beeves? <laughs> what does ask beeves mean? <laughs> <laughs> I use your <zero> dream. <laughs> Ask Beeves is pretty good. That's not bad. But do you know what's not pretty good? <laughs> Fellas. A few decades ago, private citizens used to be largely that. Private. What's changed? The internet. Think about everything you browsed, searched for, watched, or tweeted. Now imagine all of that data being crawled, collected, and aggregated by third parties into a permanent public record. Your record. Having your private life exposed for others to see was what something only celebrities worried about. But in an era where everything is online, everyone is a public figure. To keep my data private when I go online, I use ExpressVPN. That's right, ExpressVPN. Um, here it is. Did you know that there are hundreds of data brokers out there whose solo business it is to buy and sell your data? The worst part is they don't have to tell you who they're selling it to or get your consent. One of these data points is your IP address. Data harvesters use your IP to uniquely identify you and your location, but with ExpressVPN, my connection gets rerouted through an encrypted server, and my IP address is masked. Every time I turn ExpressVPN on, I'm given a random IP address shared by other ExpressVPN customers. That makes it more difficult for third parties to identify me and harvest my data. And the best part 
The best part is how easy ExpressVPN is to use. No matter what device you're on, phone, laptop, or smart TV, all you have to do is tap one button to get protected. So if, like me, you believe that your data is your business, secure yourself with the number one rated VPN on the market. Visit expressvpn.com slash Coney and get three extra months for free. expressvpn.com slash Coney. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I uh, stream cut out for all that? Wait, what? Did the stream cut out during that? Did that really happen? I was laughing about something. Uh okay. Stream cut out for like eighty percent of it. Wait, really? No way. <laughs> really? <laughs> Your record. Ha Express VPN. Uh, here it is. Did <laughs> um, uh, here it is. Did okay. <laughs> we're laughing at two different things. Yeah, we're la I didn't... Oh, you guys couldn't see it. Sorry. All right. Yeah. That was not a bit. All right. I guess I got to read. The, okay. Let's do this fast. Uh, did you know there are hundreds of data brokers out there whose sole business it is to buy and sell your data? The worst part is they don't have to tell you they're selling it to or get your consent. One of these data points is your IP address. Data harvesters use your IP to uniquely identify you and your location. But with ExpressVPN, my connection gets rerouted through an encrypted server and my IP address is masked. Every time I turn ExpressVPN on, I'm given a random IP address shared by other ExpressVPN customers. That makes it more difficult. Damn it, I was doing so good. That makes it more difficult for third parties to identify me and harvest my data. And the best part is how easy ExpressVPN is to use. No matter what device you're on, phone, laptop, or smart TV, all you have to do is tap one button to get protected. So if, like me, you believe that your data is your business, secure yourself with the number one rated VPN on the market. Visit expressvpn.com slash Coney and get three extra months for free. That's right, expressvpn.com slash Coney. <sighs> all right. I forgot to do this one earlier. I got to do it twice this stream. <laughs> Express VPN any expre any percent run. Yeah, I might pop another one down the line. I got to do another one later. Oh, oh. Go back and watch that at point 5. All right. I kind of want to play something. <laughs> I've got a game for you. Should I try it? Actually, I don't know if we have enough time. It's 1030. Ah, it's 1030. I don't know. Kind of late. Commit? 1030 is prime gaming hours. I'll do it another night this week. Play it? I'll do it another night this week. It's actually a game you guys don't know and have never heard of. Seriously. It's something that I my friend told me about that I had never heard of, and I was like, <gasps> Coney just baited everyone. Listen, we'll do it another time, all right? We'll do it. Coney, do you like donuts? I feel like this is a... I feel like I'm walking into something, but you're not physically here, like a hurt donut kind of thing. I feel like I'm a little worried, and you're going to punch me through the monitor like a Bugs Bunny. I'm not going to... Yeah, I like... I, I love donuts. Why? I love donuts.
Where? Where'd they go? <laughs> they, they, le they left. All right. <laughs> Good day. Yeah, I do. Thanks for asking. Uh, by the way, I kind of spoiled the game. Check this out. <laughs> My friend found bully, but... Oh, wait, no, you didn't... Oh, you guys didn't see any of that, because I had this open. Oh, never mind. I was on here looking, waiting to see what they said. Uh, my friend found Bully, but if it was made in the style of Grab Bag. It's multiplayer. You could play as a bully or an adult. <laughs> that looks pretty good. This was at the recent AGDQ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where he saw it, too. This shit, yeah, this shit is uh, wacky, to say the least. Now, I am going to play it, but right now it's 1030. I can't do it tonight. Listen, we'll do it this week, all right? We'll do it this week, okay? Coney, have you heard of Wectoring? Yeah, dude. I was I was alive then. Have you guys seen this? You guys know this, right? A warrior was launched. Watch Except warrior. Watch when this. Ready? Hit downwards, so this you won't work wait. after you get spiked. Just to know, be careful not to hold you up too long, <laughs> or you'll end up killing yourself. I love Wario so much. At they should have kept this, this in the game, dude. Nothing more than an easy way to get back on the stage. They right? really should have kept. Uh, if any not. character There's did this, so much it should have. Look at this. <laughs> Once you. Why could only he do it? Master the time. Why could only he do it? Control how far Wario goes, stop his momentum midway, and <laughs> even curve his trajectory. I find you? this especially useful at lower He should get to do this. Since you can catch your opponent completely off it's guard Wario, by dude. Back he in cheats. For a surprise attack or curving the trajectory to confuse the opponent. And yes, you can execute any attack during. Would Wario have been. No, this is Smash Wario. He would have sucked anyway. Fly back in with the fart. Wario Fly still would have been bad. Fly back in with a down air. Just use your imagination. How do they not On find this in testing? Bro didn't no even try Wario. <laughs> about getting I'm not playing that shit. Again. If you aim it correctly, you can even vector right back on the ledge. <laughs> now for the real question. Oh, that rules. No, it was great. Uh-oh, cheater Billy Mitchell got destroyed by new evidence. Uh-oh, hard times for Billy Mitchell. Oh, lion ass. Got him. I have to know. I was curious on this. I wanted to see what... This apparently went up two days ago on Sunday, and I missed it. You guys know Billy Mitchell, right? Oh, Billy Mitchell, Donkey Kong it. Hold on. Look at this dude. Look at his smug, mocking aura. In case you guys don't know, Billy Mitchell is the best Donkey Kong arcade player in the world. Or is he, actually? A lot of people don't think so. Oh, no, he's going to sue you? Oh. <laughs> Let's watch the video. Allegedly. allegedly, 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 he is old cheating ass. <laughs> That's allegedly what they say. But you know what? I want to see both sides, and I'm curious as to what Billy Mitchell, what is this new evidence that just got found against him, you know? Because it's important for me to know to try to keep an unbiased perspective. In 2019, video game player of the century Billy Mitchell of sued Twin Galaxies for defamation after they removed oh, his no. high scores from their database and said he didn't achieve them on original hardware. Oh, no. For almost four years, this lawsuit has dragged on. And thankfully for everyone involved, four it years? looks like it should be wrapping up and going to trial sometime this year. The crux Billy of Twin Mitchell is in regular show? Yeah, hold on. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, Garrett Bobby Ferguson. Uh, a major antagonist being the universe record holder for the arcade game Broken Bones. Yeah. His hair looks like a hoodie. <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly. His hair looks like a hoodie. Oh my god, it does. Bro's on his Ezio shit. <laughs> oh my god. In every outfit. In everything he wears. That's crazy. It looks the same in every... There are good and bad hair days. How do you look like... Galaxy's defense so far has been centered around two videotapes that show Billy's high scores. And it's been proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that the gameplay seen on these videotapes cannot come from an You're original Donkey ice. Kong arcade. I, 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 Instead, I they clear. must have come from an emulator. <gasps> Billy Mitchell seems to have lied and said he played on an arcade machine when Billy. he in fact didn't. And this opens up the possibility for cheating in numerous ways. Billy. In his lawsuit against Twin Galaxies, Billy claims these videotapes don't matter because he achieved the scores live and he has witnesses. How is it possible that he performed them at a live event in front of hundreds of people if he faked it and actually played on an emulator? Do we have the videotapes video? must be fake or are not his actual gameplay or should just be ignored because he has real people that say he really did it okay, and they saw it happen so it must be legit. Who are the As Billy said in his lawsuit, if everyone is lying, it must be a conspiracy akin to that of the Kennedy assassination. <laughs> but here's the problem. Oh, the videotapes oh. were the only tangible evidence these scores ever <laughs> happened. So that's all anyone had to go off. Aside all from right. the tapes, it was just people saying that it happened, which really doesn't cut it. When there was, was no this? footage of Billy actually playing. Was this there like was in nothing the 80s? to indicate that he was even there or that he played at all. That is, until now. For the first time in 15 years, Photos of Billy Mitchell at one of these events where he... Bro, why they got refs? <laughs> For what? What did... they? Is the game gonna... What is the referee gonna do? Claims to have achieved one of his world records have surfaced. I don't and understand. And I'm not going to beat around the bush. These photos absolutely destroy Billy's case. Yo! Allegedly. There is no more Allegedly doubt Billy do will lose his lawsuit. These photos do what? more damage than anything that has come before them, and I'm not exaggerating. Even if you disregard all of the videotape evidence, Billy's world records would still be disqualified, and he would still be bro, banned for lying just because what happened, of these bro? photos. So how is what that happened? even possible? Let's Show find me. out. I really hope you enjoy. I really hope I do too. That's your job though. Good now, luck. Legends, I am super excited because this video is sponsored by Magic Spoon. Magic Okay. This cereal is so bad. Magic Spoon is awful. I've had it before. Not a joke. It's so bad. It's awful. Not kidding. Don't ruin his sponsor. He gets paid either way. Didn't you sponsor it? No. And I would if they hit me up. If they email me, I'll try it. I really wanted to try it because I love cereal. And I was like, all right, maybe I get this for breakfast, right? I got cinnamon. I got Fruit Loops. I got, uh, I think, a honey one. I got a bunch. They're so expensive, and they're not good. They stick to your, like, to your teeth and your mouth. It's disgusting. But if they talk to me, I would love to be proven wrong with a brand new formula. Maybe a new flavor. Maybe send me a new flavor. Hey, they can't all be bad, right? I mean, the five that I ate were bad. But I bet the sixth one is going to be a real home run. Magic Spoon, if you're watching, just talk to me, you know? I'm happy to work together. Magic Spoon is a high-protein, zero-sugar cereal. Yeah. No, I had, I had this one. Oh, I had a vanilla one, too. And that one was, I think, my favorite. And it still tasted like dog shit. That just might be the greatest thing humans have ever invented. I absolutely love cereal. I could easily smash an entire box. Yeah, but how do you feel but about generally, this cereal? cereal has very high sugar and low protein. True. It's just not ideal for someone like... 
like me who wants to lose fat and yep. build muscle. Uh -huh. When Magic Spoon wanted to sponsor me, I was very skeptical. Uh -huh. I am a cereal connoisseur. This is my ballpark. And what did but you think? I was think? very impressed with how good it is. I can easily fit Magic Spoon into my diet because of its macronutrient profile, but it honestly feels like I'm cheating. Okay, so he's fit. He's fit. Like, this This might be good for you if your tongue has been poisoned by fitness food. Like, if all you eat are Cliff and Quest bars. All right, maybe, I guess. I don't know. Fit people have worse taste. Yeah. They have to. <laughs> My tongue still works, so I hate Magic Spoon. Because of how Fit delicious people eat it sad tastes. Food. Yeah. Personally, my favorite flavor is fruity, and I eat it before bed. This helps me stick to my diet throughout the entire day because I really have something to look forward to. For yeah. those looking to improve their body composition <laughs> or just want a cereal with more natural ingredients, I cannot recommend Magic Spoon enough. And if you click I the link in the I description, can't, I can't recommend you not eating it enough. By the way, what does fruity describe? It's uh fruity. It's Fruit Loops. It's this up here. So he can't recommend it enough. I can't recommend that you don't eat it enough. How about that? I don't think he gets paid per activation. If he does, listen, I'm not trying to take away from his numbers. And this has nothing to do with this guy. I'm sure he's a great guy, and I'm sure he likes the cereal. I cannot recommend it to anyone. It's disgusting. With more natural ingredients, I tried I it. Do not recommend Magic Spoon enough. And if you click the link in the description or use the promo code LEGEND, you will get $5 off your order. And Magic Spoon are so confident, they provide a 100% money-back guarantee if you are not happy. I did not know that. <laughs> I should I should have got my money back. <laughs> L. <laughs> I spent like $60. Hold on. How much? Hold on. Let me look. I spent a lot of money. Let me search my email. Magic Spoon. This was in March of 2021. I spent 50 bucks. I used the code Gabby Magic for $5 off. I got a custom bundle of four boxes for $40. It's $10 per box. And then Honey Nut to try it too. I got fruity, cocoa, cinnamon, and frosted. Uh, I don't like cocoa, but I thought Mal would. I don't like chocolate cereal. By the way, the boxes are very small. Gabby Hanna? Oh, wait, is that what it was? No, it's Gabby with an I. Gabby, G-A-B-I, magic. I don't know what that was. Hold on. They are so small. You don't see it, but the boxes are tiny. I, I don't know how to show it to you. Wait, there was a hand? Okay, I don't think it's that small. <laughs> It's not, <laughs> I think this is, is it that small? What's going on here? Wait a minute. I, <laughs> I don't, I, I don't think that's real, actually. Wait. It, is it? This looks more real. It was that big, I think. It's small. There is a notepad? Yeah, but how big is the notepad? Mini boxes. Oh, that's probably that. All right, they got me. I got mixed up. There's a mini box. There's a mini version. Okay. <laughs> I was, dude, I was actually like, uh huh? Versus real boxes? I don't know how to look this up. I don't know. Like, I'm trying to show you how big they are. Okay. Whatever. They're small. I'm dumb. They're small. I cannot recommend this product. Again, you can scan them. It literally had a comparison picture. Bed. It's literally Just in the video. Of yeah, but you can't see them in relevant to other stuff. And arm slash legend to get Whatever. $5 off today. When Twin Galaxies banned Billy Mitchell in 2018, they did so because of videotapes showing two scores. The first is a 1.047 million point score Billy achieved in 2004, uh -huh. known as the King of Kong score. It's called this because this score is featured in the King of Kong documentary. The second is a 1.05 million point <laughs> score Billy achieved in 2007, yeah. which is known as the Mortgage Brokers score. This okay. is because he supposedly achieved it at a Mortgage Brokers convention. 
The videotapes for both of these scores show footage that isn't legitimate. This is a fact, and it's why he was banned. But aside from that, there was no other evidence that Billy even played the game, aside from a few people saying it happened. Well, to be completely fair, the King of Kong score actually does have zero witnesses. It's the Mortgage Brokers score that Billy has a few witnesses for. And it's I'm, this Mortgage Brokers what? score that we now have photos for. I'm so, so confused. So let's take a deeper look into How this. How can this not of get course, documented? As the tape shows the score wasn't done on an original arcade, How we'd is assume he didn't this? actually get the score at the event. But for a moment, let's forget all about the videotape and humor Billy's argument that the tapes don't matter. Okay. In his lawsuit against Twin Galaxy, Billy submitted Pro is at the premiere for Pixels? Entered five witness statements saying they were at the event when the score happened. Two of these statements are from people who worked at the convention. They just say they were there when it happened, but they don't say they actually saw him get it. And they aren't even Donkey Kong players, Ooh. so they have no idea what's going on Bro, anyway. We all know that Billy like likes that? to lie in public as he recently showed, so a random person thinking the score DK, happened dude. when it really didn't doesn't mean much. So we can disregard those two statements. This leaves three witnesses that say they directly saw him get the world record. The first is from a guy called Richard Malian. He says he watched Billy's score reach beyond 1 million points and that he movie? saw him achieve his targeted score. Do you think there's a world where I could, you should cheat his content? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Can I get the Donkey Kong world record? <laughs> I'll cheat to do it. It sounds funny. Maybe I could do it, you know? There's got to be a way. Richard is actually a childhood friend of Billy's. In <laughs> fact, he appeared opposite Billy in the school yearbook. What? But let's not hold that against him. While it is common for friends to lie for each other, let's not assume that's what happened. Now, when I'm deciding whether or not someone is trustworthy, what I do is the create duck? two columns. One for yes, I should trust them, and one for no, I should not. Then I put things into each column and weigh them up at the end. Uh -huh. So first, I can see that Richard dresses really well. He yeah. has a nice suit, and he has a nice watch. A no one who dresses this well could lie. So I'm going to put that into the yes column. Sure. For the no column, there isn't much I found out about Richard that really concerns me, except for this super tiny detail detail of him pleading guilty to conspiracy, <laughs> securities fraud, money laundering, and criminal contempt in 1996 well, after an FBI sting operation. Right. I mean, it's probably nothing, but it would be remiss of me if I didn't include yeah, you gotta it. Back do to your the yes column, it Richard important. just seems like a super friendly sure. and nice guy. Yeah, I mean, no one who looks that. this happy could lie, so this has to go into the yes column. Okay. Now, looking at the no column, I'm going to be super nitpicky here and include this <laughs> other small thing. Uh -huh. And look, Maybe this is being too judgmental, sure. but I'm going to go ahead and add to the fact that he was charged Just... again with fraud in 2019 <laughs> by the SEC oh, and had to man. pay back $750,000. No. It's probably not even worth bringing okay. up, but again, I just want to be no, fully it's transparent. Important to, it's, However, yeah, you gotta I do must your say that Richard has some really you know? good motivational quotes on his yeah. Twitter feed. Okay. I mean, look at these quotes. They are truly inspirational, and mm. he puts his name in bigger text than the person who actually said the quote. <laughs> so when you think about it, who said the quote real bigger text that is that you know what i kind of get it now i kind of understand you know i didn't really get this whole einstein thing you know what i mean but when i really see it came from richard malian esteemed philanthropist and businessman i kind of understand a little bit more than the person who actually said the quote. So good. when you think about it, who said the quote really? I'm going to have to put this into the okay. yes column. Yeah. Now, I should probably leave it there. And at this point, oh, I really am not be. being fair to Richard. But oh, by the way, ads in 30 seconds, guys. Do I even have to say it? You can subscribe to avoid ads or you don't have to. I'm not going to. This is the last one of the night. So listen, you make your own choices, okay? Your destiny is in your hands. But I'll just add, should probably, uh, who said, put they his... They say, logic will get you from point A to B, imagination will get you anywhere. So logic tells you that you, you don't want to see ads. It is logical to prime to the Coney stream. It's only $5 a month. But, you know, you can imagine watching ads. <laughs> and that won't be imagination in about three seconds. Enjoy your marketing. See you in a little bit. His name in Billy. I'm going to have to put this into the yes column. Imagine now, I should ads. probably leave it there. And at this <laughs> point, the I really dimension. am not being fair to Richard. But I'll just add one more thing. I will imagine the YouTube video. No, no. 
I want you to imagine the ads that you would be seeing if you weren't subbed. And I'll let you decide. In 2021, Richard was unfortunately arrested for conspiracy to commit fraud. Oh, Look, he has again. just not been Richard. lucky when it comes to fraud. He keeps getting caught. I, for one, do not hold this against him. When I look <laughs> at this table, I see three to three. It's... Uh, <laughs> This only counts the amount of times he got caught, too. This isn't even counting all the times he got away with it. And you know what? Listen, you can't, you can't win them all. You could try, you could try. If he tried fraud a hundred times and he only got caught three times, it's not bad, honestly. He's pretty good at his job. It's pretty even. Personally, I'm leaning towards trusting the guy, but you let me He's know in the comments ding. what you think. Okay, so Billy's first witness is a bit sketch. You have Who's to do number two? A of Billy's a doubt, second guys. witness that says he saw him get it is Todd Rogers. I trust him to fraud. Oh boy, this is not going well. Okay, hit me with number three. Surely we're going to get a winner. Wait, These boys. That. Three. It's pretty easy think witness that says he saw him witness is a bit sketch. Uh -huh. Who's number two? Billy's second witness that says he saw him get it is Todd Rogers. Oh boy, this is not going well. Okay. I don't know who Todd is. Who is who is Todd Rogers? He cheated in Atari games? Hey Coney, what the fuck was he saying here? Hold on, I will deduce it. Who, what's going to be your little extra today to follow your dreams? Little extras make a big difference. Bro, that's so obvious. Dude, he's saying that if you add a little bit of extra effort, it could take you far. You could go a far, you could go a long way. You don't get that? That makes sense. <laughs> Dick360.com. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Make it happen for Choco Fusion. Sir, Sir Cumin Chocolate. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. Also, he's got some gummies. Oh, turn up the mat. <laughs> Did he make this? <laughs> Believe that you might be the light for someone else. Richard Malian. Oh, this guy hasn't tweeted in a while. Maybe not. This guy's like my dad. <laughs> my dad posts this shit too. All right, I got a question for you guys. Does anyone else's dad love this picture? <laughs> this is dad core. Am I the only one? You don't know what I'm talking about? Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Does anyone know what I'm talking about here? There's only going to be a few people that know what I'm talking about. How old is your dad? Not that old. Like 60, 65 or so. I don't know. This is dad core as hell. <laughs> Thinking monkey is so dad. This shit right here. Does your dad watch Joe Rogan experience? He would. If he knew about it, he would. That's not even a question. I think he... He liked Joe Rogan. Actually, he... Oh my God. You just unlocked a memory. He liked Joe Rogan before he was cool. My dad is like one of those Joe Rogan, Dave, Ma my dad, it's hard to explain. My dad is like a Dave Matthews band, Jeep Wrangler, like uh, Jack Johnson, upside down banana pancakes type white guy. Kind of like an MMA, like a, not, not quite as far as like affliction or like, you know, tap out clothes, but you get what I'm saying. He's like that type. Gen X? Yeah, he's Gen X as fuck. Yeah. I, uh... I think that's... I don't know how... But, like, he's he's right in that, you know? Sunglasses in the car profile, pick dad. No, I don't think he did that. I don't, he wasn't quite that far. My dad's not dumb. <laughs> when I see that stuff, I'm like, oh, that guy's stupid or dumb. My dad's smart. He's just... The prototypical Gen X cool guy. Does that make sense? Is he internet literate? Yes, because he has to be. He works in internet like spaces. But only vaguely. <laughs> I don't think beyond like surface level. I don't know. But yeah. 
My dad is... Hold on. He was born in... He's... Oh, God, I did the math. 62, 63, I think. I think 62 or 63. 62. Okay, hit me with number three. Surely we're going to get a winner. The third witness that says they saw Billy get the score is Kim Mahoney, who is also Todd Rogers' girlfriend. I'm going to be completely honest here. I'm getting the impression that Billy's witnesses may not be entirely trustworthy. Okay. Anyway, let's take a look at these new photos. Well, Remember, know. this is the first time we've seen any footage of Billy at this event in 15 years. All right. So there's Billy and Todd, sure. and Billy is talking to some dude, and that looks like the Donkey Kong cabinet behind sure Billy. Does. It's got a VCR on top, which is how they recorded the score. Mm -hmm. It all looks pretty legit so far. Looks good to there's me. Billy and Todd posing with a couple of people. There's a camera that was recording Billy play, even yeah. though that footage doesn't seem to exist for some reason. That's weird. Here's Billy and Todd posing again with the thumbs up. Uh -huh. Maybe this is just after Billy got the world record. I have to admit, everything here looks pretty legit. Looks and good oh to me. my yeah. god, what is that? Uh, it's a it's a bat top. Our kid <laughs> chat's wearing. That you don't joystick know. is not an original Donkey Kong joystick. This arcade machine does not have original unmodified Donkey Kong arcade hardware. What? This is an original Donkey Kong stick. It's got a big black no! ball and a short column. The stick on Billy's arcade is a tall stick with a smaller oh, no! ball, and it's obviously red, so the stick has been changed to something else. On top of that, oh, no. it appears to be an eight-way stick. Billy! Now, the original Donkey Kong stick is four-way, which means it can only go up, His down, left, cheating. and right. If but an eight-way stick, the like the one getting the leg at high score length. Oh, there are rules? I'm not trying to read a rule book. ...would find on all modern arcades can also go diagonally. Billy, when Billy it comes Bros. to Donkey Kong, an eight-way stick fundamentally changes the way the it's game over. can be played. If you want to steer barrels while on a oh, ladder, you have no. to stop and hold left or right, yeah. because you can't go up and to the side at the same time. But with an eight-way stick, you can continue to climb ladders while steering barrels by using the diagonals. Oh, with an eight-way stick, you can do things you can't do on an original arcade, which is why they are banned. Billy, how so not only you? is the stick not original, which was totally banned, it looks like an eight-way stick, which is extra banned. Bro, if his hand was slightly lower... Oh, no, dude. Billy... And not only would Billy's world record still not count because of the modified stick, oh, but Billy no. would still also be banned for lying about it. And oh boy, did he lie about it. His no. entire lawsuit against Twin Galaxies is based on the premise that he played on unmodified original arcade hardware, which is categorically oh, not oh, true. No. Not only from the videotapes, Billy. but now from the photos as well. And his lawsuit is full of lies what where Billy claimed the hardware Billy? was unmodified. And not just Billy, the referees who adjudicated the score lied as well. Todd Rogers and his girlfriend Kim Mahoney both say in their sworn statements that Billy played on unmodified hardware. Everyone just got caught out big time. How would they... Uh, okay. Hashtag, I believe Billy stand talking. Billy, this will pass. The cancel mob is going to be off your back in like a few days. They're all going to move on to the next thing, Billy. Just stay strong. And it gets... Wait, that, but that, how do they... That's even worse, because these photos don't worse. just affect the Mortgage Brokers score world record. <laughs> they also affect the King of Kong score as well. How? This is Robert Childs, who is also a is longtime friend of Billy Mitchell. For those with a very good memory... Can all the witnesses be charged with perjury? Well, I guess they could technically. I don't... Technically speaking, yeah. I don't know who's going to take that case. But theoretically, you know. This is the same guy that was in the infamous fake board swap video. 
He has been lying on behalf of Billy for years. Wait, he is what? Part Hold on. Child. Well, for those with a very good memory okay. of Childs, who is also a longtime friend of Billy Mitchell. Oh, for no. those with a very good memory, this is the same guy that was in the infamous fake board swap video. He has been lying on behalf of Billy for years. <laughs> he is part of the con artist clique. Robert Childs runs Arcade Game Sales, which is an arcade retailer in Florida. Uh -huh. Arcade Game Sales is important because this is where Billy claims he achieved the King of Kong World oh. Record on an arcade cabinet provided by Robert Childs. Now, as part of his case, Billy Mitchell also submitted a sworn statement from Robert Childs. And Robert states in 2003, he I helped see. Billy by providing an arcade machine. Bro, that's a little quid pro quo, man. A little this for that. You're like, all right, well, I'm going to hit my world record in your store. Your store gets a lot of publicity, gets a lot of marketing, gets a lot of support. Florida hits the map, you know? He swore ah. that this was an original Donkey Kong Billy, arcade machine. He says the same machine was used when Billy got his King of Kong score in 2004. And says the same machine was used again in 2007 Billy. at the Mortgage Brokers Convention. This means that not only is the Mortgage Brokers score disqualified because it was a modified machine, but because Robert Child swears it was the same <laughs> machine used in 2004, the King of Kong score is disqualified as well. Oh Billy my god, Mitchell Whole legacy. Todd Rogers, Kim Mahoney, and Robert Childs were all lying about the arcade machine that was supposedly used. It's all and gone. now it's proven. It's you may be wondering gone. why Billy would lie about something that can so obviously be disproven. And the answer is that Billy didn't know these photos existed. In fact, oh. the entire Donkey Kong community didn't know these photos existed. <laughs> they were Kong only made public community. recently and not by Billy Mitchell. These oh, photos were no. never made public and they were only retrieved now by directly contacting the organizers of the convention which luckily still had them Billy, i cannot stress enough how damning these no! photos are even if you were to disregard every single thing that has ever been said about <laughs> billy being a cheater up until this point based solely on these photos billy would still lose his lawsuit against twin galaxies all these dudes look like they suck at video games what if they're really bad what if they're really bad at, at, even at Donkey Kong? Just nobody else has ever tried it. It's just an old-ass game. It's just boring as hell. I'm not playing that shit. Play one game of Fortnite, Billy. <laughs> Where are we dropping, Billy? Play it right now? Donkey Kong's easy, dude. Hold on. I could play that shit in a browser. Donkey Kong's easy. Damn, freekong.org. I'm about to beat this Billy Mitchell score. His records would still be removed, and he would still... I will not lose stage one. I'll put 10 subs on stage one. I'm not losing stage one. Because these photos show his no records way. are not legitimate. I cannot wait until this goes to trial, and you best believe that when it does, I'm going to cover it. I'm excited, and I think you should be too, because this is going to be a lot of fun. As always, <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, no. Oh, good Lord, Billy, it's over. All right, hold on. Now, just to be clear... I am playing on licensed original hardware. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! What, was, what is he so... What, turn, oh, it got quieter. Why did that... He, he's so loud! Maybe like here? Alright, 10k subs, I beat stage 1. 10k, oh my god. 10 subs, I beat stage 1. Alright? And if I win, you gotta give me 10, uh, 10 subs. 10,000 subs. No, no. I corrected myself. All right. Good luck, everybody. What is it? Use the arrow keys. Okay. How do I start? Nope. Oh, bro. There's lag. Guys, there's lag. Hold on. Bro, there's lag, though. Guys, there's lag. There's lag, dude. Oh, it is on the cabinet. Actually, I could go play it over there. Oh. What the fuck is this? 
What? <laughs> bet is off. Bet is off. Bet is off. What the fuck? <laughs> what is this what Billy was playing? Is this what Billy was playing? <laughs> Bro, Billy! <laughs> what is the... Billy, I, I, I think you should have been a little bit more inconspicuous. Cody's not very good. How are there so many Marios? <laughs> I can beat it. I can beat it. I can beat it. There's only one Mario on my screen. <laughs> okay, so up isn't jumping. I keep trying to hit up to jump. Is it? What's jump? What's the jump button? There's no jump button. The guys. Guys, there's literally no way to jump. <laughs> Pause. Where's jump? It's not Z. It's not... I don't know what button is. No button jumps. No button jumps. <laughs> on the keyboard <laughs> plus the game I'm not paying out no 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 did I open it on another tab no that wouldn't even make sense what the fuck how do I jump dude I literally can't jump it's space alright there's gotta be a better site for this that's crazy. All right. I can't believe that site. All right. Here we go. Oh, this shit is on MAME. Oh, hell yeah. Hold on. How do I... How do I insert coin? Uh... <laughs> uh... This is what Billy you yeah. <laughs> is what Billy was on. Oh, donkeykong.org? Alright, bro. <laughs> oh, this is the NES version, dude. This is not official unlicensed or licensed hardware. Whatever. Ten gifties. Z is jump. Alright. You? So easy, dude. It's so you you actually know where I learned to play Donkey Kong? Donkey Kong 64. I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna die. I played so much Donkey Kong 64. Dork? What do you mean, dork? You challenged me to something, and I'm doing it. I'll beat the game. I'll beat the game. Watch your boy. Many people would jump down there, but did you know there's fall damage in this game? I do, because I played Donkey Kong 64. I'm not even going to go get that purse. I know y'all are telling me if I don't get the purse, it's not a real run, but I'm not picking that shit up. And level two's down. Well, well, well. Doubters? Hmm? What's going on with the doubters tonight, huh? What's going on? You guys are looking a little foolish. I definitely should have ran predicties. I can't believe... You doubt it, huh? I, dude, I'm not bad at video games, all right? Especially video games that I had to play 50 times over because of Donkey Kong 64. Tony had to modify the hardware to win. Listen, you gave me this one. I tried to play on arcade, and you gave me the NES one, and here we are, succeeding, not even dying once. I don't know what to tell you. You lost. Oh, sh shit. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> kind of scary there. Uh, this is... Oh, I can... 
Okay. I'm a little stuck here. Bro is camping. I can't go down there! No, go, go, go. Stop! Stop! Alright. Oh no. Uh, I can't. Can I make it? Uh, okay. Alright, alright. No. Uh. <laughs> this guy's an asshole! Oh, he's going up! Doubter bros, I tried to tell you. I tried to tell you. Donkey Kong is defeated. You're welcome. Pay up 10 gifties right now. Pay up 10 gifties this instant. You shook. You shook. You shook. You died three times on the first level. No, I did it! <laughs> Hold on. These are the rules because of Billy. <laughs> Thank you, Serpent. Thank you, Neff. Thank you, Cody Ang, for the five get. At least some people in chat still have honor. You see that? Hey, real gamer Thage? That was real gamer things at first. I was like, hell yeah. Why isn't this working? Damn, I can't even look at the site. Using an eight direction stick? I literally used my arrow keys. That's as four direction as it can get. What are you talking about? <laughs> Thank you, Godoyf. Finally, some viewers worth having. Jeez. You guys need to learn the concept of honor and accountability, I think. It's important to do the things that you say that you're going to do. And we shook on 10 gifties. What is that link? Ew. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what is that? Ew. Oh, it worked, though. All right. The Donkey Kong arcade machine must remain in the frame of the view of the camera recording. Begin with the arcade game off. Bring the camera to the back of the machine and open up the back door showing the interior. Focus your camera on the printed circuit board. Show the dip switch bank. Close the back door. The I kind of want to just send them a tape of me just <laughs> totally nail. Oh, my God. It's so long. If I just nail Donkey Kong, just destroy it in like five minutes. And and don't listen to any of these. While leaving the two-player, get two-player? The joystick itself must be an original four-stock dunk. Ah, that's what they got Billy on. You didn't do all that. <laughs> the goal wasn't to hit a world record. The goal was to beat the first level, and I beat all three levels with flying colors. World record is score-based, not time-based. Yeah, but that would make it funnier. <laughs> If I, if I finish the game really fast, and I'm like, yeah, I think I, I'm the best now. <laughs> That's the world record. And they're like, no, you had to get the score. I'm like, score? NES version is shortened and easier. Well, come the fuck on. That's the one that you sent me. You sent me that one. And I did it. Allow the attract mode to run so the camera can record the title screen, which must show, <laughs> must show copyright 1981 Nintendo of America, as well as the high score table, which must show... Oh, my God. <laughs> they have to warm up the monitor? Oh, yeesh. Billy really changed the game on this one. That's inspirational cheating, if I'm, if I'm honest, bro. All right, I'm going to bed. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Thanks for watching. But it's bedtime. I'm a-sleeping. Good night, everybody. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, Now, I don't want to make any promises. But tomorrow might see the return of an old favorite series. Oh, yeah. But before I go, God oh, my God. One of the scripts that I almost clicked on would have been really bad. Oh, my God. <laughs> but before I go, fellows, 
Let me ask you something. What if there was someone out there who kept a log of every single thing you did every minute of the day? I think that'd be pretty creepy. Well, what if I told you that's exactly what happens every time you go online? Your internet providers, like AT&T or Verizon, is allowed to store logs of every website you've ever visited. And they can legally sell this data to anyone. That's why I always use... ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN reroutes your internet connection through their secure servers so your internet provider can't see or log what you do online. Now, many of you might be wondering, well, if I'm routing all my data through a VPN, doesn't that just mean the VPN can see what I'm doing and log my data instead? No, you idiot. Many, oh, and you're right to think that. Many VPNs claim to have a no-logs policy, but have been caught logging customer activity. But ExpressVPN is the only VPN I trust because they use trusted server technology. I can't believe the ad read directly contradicted what I said. They were the first major VPN provider to engineer all of their VPN servers servers to run in RAM. This makes it impossible for their VPN servers to store any data, including logs of any ExpressVPN customer. Cut, 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 redo. No, we're already doing this. We're, we're, we're halfway through. And you don't have to take my or ExpressVPN's word for it because ExpressVPN is so confident in their no-logs claim, they even have one of the biggest assurance firms, PwC, audit their technology. I thought you were doing a joke. No, it literally says... Um, uh, I'm trying to think of a way to show you. I, I don't want to show you the full script, but it says, uh, <laughs> here's the, this isn't, uh, hold on. That wasn't a bit. That's what the script says. <laughs> if I reroute, I can't they see what I'm doing. You're right to think that. Yeah, I, that, whoops. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but hey, it's no wonder that CNET named ExpressVPN the number one VPN in the world. So stop letting people keep logs of what you do online. Visit expressvpn.com slash Coney right now and find out how you can get three months free. That's right, expressvpn.com slash Coney. Three months free. And Tom Coney sent you. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. The ad didn't tell me to sub with Twitch Prime. I did. I I I thought that was assumed. You know to do that. No raid. I'm going to bed. Good night. How I love this pretty bed. Now I'll rest my weary head. Good night.